Disbanded. Disbanded. And so we will be now incorporating Fulduin, Mormenor, an elf. Bless you. Thank Bless you. you. <laughs> 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 kind of tough to say. So, uh, Landon, if you would like, uh, go ahead and recap kind yeah. of what was going on with your group. Go ahead and start from the bear attack well, and move that's, on. That's both if, groups had the same thing. That's if Landon wants to do that. I was just threw it out as an idea. Well, what happened with us is we killed the bear. We went into town. I had the bear pelt. There was a tanner over, like, right here. He was making me a bear cloak. Think of the Nemean lion. That's the sort of thing I was going for. Then uh, we just went around, beard out of quest, trying to complete the quest. Some dude just randomly attacked the guards. Screwed up the entire play session. Essentially, we're going to ignore that entire session just because it was absolutely retarded. Yes. It was, <clears throat> it was horrible. So, so yeah. Now, if you guys would like to explain yeah, no, where the bear, where you guys killed the bear up to now. Yep, Christina, you are... No, oh, Christina, I'll let you, you do get it. to recap it this time. All right, if I can remember, um, we killed the bear. Remember, I remember everything in detail. How do you know? <laughs> you better get this right, or I'll call you out. It's okay. You, you will. It's okay. Um, you can call me out on it. Um, killed the bear. We looked around. We found a note about a, re a reward to turn the bear in. Mm -hmm. Uh, we went to the person. I don't remember names. Uh, no, something happened between <laughs> Ben and us meeting with. Okay, the we we celebrate. We we announced. We we put the bear on a pike. Uh, just we made the bear look like he was. Made the bear look like he was before we found out there was a virus in him. Mm -hmm. Um, we went and. Paraded the bear in town, which made people look at us like we were crazy, because we're a bunch yeah. of gnomes. Um, we went to the castle, turned the bear in. Mm -hmm. Am I off any Tyson? <laughs> You're doing great. Keep it up. Good job. <laughs> um, we got the reward. No, we didn't. They didn't give us what? anything. Yeah, they did. They didn't give us they anything. They gave you guys a reward. No. They yeah, they did. No, they came in, let's verify who the bear is, and then the dude ran out of the fucking castle. He ran yeah. out of the oh, okay. he went to that room. Well, I'll, ex goes, that, I'll explain it. that. And he minute. ran away, and then, they escort us out. and then they escorted us out, and then they never gave us our reward. <laughs> so but we broke. went to the bathroom first. That's when you summoned the angel to say they're the ones to... I an yes, I summoned an angel, because <laughs> I'm a spellcaster. So I summoned mm -hmm. an angel that said, the gnomes are the only ones that can save you. Because I was hoping for free room and board. You know, that would be great because we're broke mm -hmm. as fuck. And then, mm -hmm. the, then we waited around and strolled our ways out of that place and stood at the front gate for a little bit. But the guard just stared at us like we're dumb, so we left. And now we're walking. Mm -hmm. You summoned a, a, a illusion of an angel. Turned out you summoned a real angel. Yeah, I tried to do an illusion, but it ended up being real. I'm like, hey, guys, that is an illusion. It's a real. The entire time that I summoned it, I actually had a portal open, like a viewing portal. Mm -hmm. and I, yeah, I was viewing it through the water in their toilet. And, we were viewing uh, it yeah, through a saw. mirror. I thought it was we a were mirror. We viewing it through a toilet. We were using a mirror. <laughs> Don't call me bullshit about on everything that one. now. I was trying to... <laughs> <laughs> Literal bullshit. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so it's also once I actually get it up on YouTube it'll all be up there, so Oh yeah. And I also Oh yeah. And I also joined the circus. Yeah, he's he's working as part huh? of the uh group that just came into town that you guys just saw, essentially. When are you a circus at? When are you a circus at? Yes, it did. You guys had a uh, like a group yet. come in right at the end of last session. Oh, that's right. Yes. Oh, that's right. Yes. Tyson says, yeah. Tyson says he remembers that's everything. That's why I record it, and I'm gonna put it all on YouTube. <laughs> no, I may have already left. I I really want you to put our groups up because it's funny. It's annoying, uh, I, I'll it's have funny. to figure out how to get the audio from the phone to the internet. 
that way. Yeah. So, all right. Yeah. By the way, we're all gnomes, but you, Landon. All right. So, I know. is he still going to be the circus, or is he going to be? You with guys us will down figure below? it out as we go. How's that going to work? <laughs> Uh, okay, no. but do we know him? Unless you want some no. like magical deity okay. to poof, here you go. Hey, guess what? He's from an alternate. He's from Earth here too. You here you go. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was from six nineteen. I have no idea what you're referencing there, boss. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. No. All right. Anywho. So anyway, uh, to get us started, you guys, after waiting for your money, and they don't seem to ever turn up, you guys start to head to the inn, which, as you are aware, is called the Mermaid Inn. Uh, arriving there, this is what you see. White people. You see a couple of... Um, They're definitely white. Uh Basically, what looks to be a tanner and a uh, like a blacksmith, and they're kind of drinking. Uh, outside of that, the area itself is uh, a little sparse, but it's not the end of the day quite yet, and you have a feeling it'll get more rowdy as the night goes on. Hey, um, hey, Roxy. Hey, um, hey, Roxy. Yes, what is it, dear? I'm not. I'm not your deer, okay? You know, they probably, don't, they probably don't know what deer is. They probably think it's some kind of animal, and I'm not a. So. Hi. <laughs> but do do you have any money? Because I don't have any money. You really honestly believe I. You really honestly believe I have money? You, you know, maybe you grab some on the side of the street, Christina. I know you like to, you know, pickpockets and stuff. <laughs> yes. Um. And where's the barkeep? Uh, he's in this off place, to your eh? right. You notice kind of a human kind of wiping down oh, a glass. Oh yeah, I see him. Bearded man. Yes. Bearded man. So um. I would like to, if it's possible. Um. Do I need roll cool? See if I'll get my screen um, back. We're going to leave your... Well, yeah, both of you go ahead and roll your cool checks at the moment just to see if you get any strain back. Right. 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 It's after Something an like encounter, that. right? Thanks. Ah, cool Thanks. Ah, cool sucks. Yep, it does. Ah, dice rolls. Any, any, uh... Any, any, uh... Purple no, it's dice just with a simple. It? Why'd you roll, uh, two purples there? Ah! All right, so Christina, you heal three. Oh, I, I rolled the wrong one. Yeah, you I did. rolled the wrong one. Yeah, you did. I got one. I got one. Right? Yes, yeah. you did right? get one. Yep. <clears throat> Alrighty. So anyway, you guys are at the uh, uh, at the entrance. What are you guys doing at the moment? I would like to attempt to summon some gold. <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> Instant fail on oh, the uh, spell. <laughs> Gosh darn it. <clears throat> I'm still pissed about the bear. I'm still pissed about the bear. <laughs> what, what's so pissy about the bear? I nothing. No, we have company. No, no children in the box. No. I'm not a child. I'm not I'm a, a child. I'm a gnome. I'm probably three times your age. Looks at you. Drink you into the table. Oh, my. I mean, my look pardon. At me in my backpack. I have my children. Uh, normally, try to sneak in and get a free drink. <laughs> I'm okay with a free drink, though. <laughs> I wouldn't complain for one either, but... Anyway, as he's like, so what till you'll have? And as he asks that, you see like an elf kind of wander in. Um, appears to be wearing some sort of like uh, guardsman's uniform. And then he just wanders straight towards like the tanner and the blacksmith. 
Well, good for him. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll have, um, I just want water. I'm quite quenched from my thirst after carrying that, bu that bear all the way then here. No then get no reward for it. Yep. <laughs> Did you hear the banging outside, Barky? I uh, can't say that I did. We killed the, the hideous we bear. Killed the, the hideous bear that's been yeah, killing people around here that the the king had a reward for. Well, he looks like he's about to say something when a city guard kind of wanders in. No, like looks over, notices you guys, <sighs> and he wanders over to your table. Uh, would you be Humblimpkis Cogsprocket? I I would indeed be. Uh, well, it depends. What are you here for? <laughs> you already gonna do that. What's everyone doing? Hey, what's here? up? Role playing. Playing D and D. No, uh, Genesis, we're, yeah, yeah, but close enough. Genesis, yeah, but yeah. Alrighty. Yeah. You should jump in and watch, buddy. So. In here. Um. He looks at it. Well, I need to know whether you're Humblimpkis or not. Uh, I have a reward for Humbl Humblimpkis for a good deed that he accomplished. Oh yes, that would definitely be me. Oh yes, that would definitely be me. I'm Humblimpkis Cockbracket. Kind of looks at you and he's. Go ahead and roll me a charm check. <laughs> I mean, you can definitely tell it's me. Look at all my shit on me. I definitely look like. Go ahead and roll me a uh, charm check with a boost. It's going to be an average difficulty. Did the guard not get the king that gave a description to you or me? It's not so much the description, it's kind of how he handled it. <laughs> Depends. <laughs> what do you need me for? Average what, two purples. It's two purples. Easy, right? Dang it. Oh, I... Average two purples. My two advantages are that the one is... Yes. I am so, I charmed him so good, he actually remember, he goes, oh, that you know, oh, that's right, I do remember you from the keep. I kind of saw your back, but I do remember, you know, that your huge, ugly-looking <laughs> backpack is there. And my other advantage is the, the barkeep's like, wow, these guys must be important. Maybe I'll give them a free drink. All right, so. You know, the thought okay. crosses Okay, so the mind. guardsman's like, oh. Uh, apologies, Mr. Cogsprocket, I just had to be sure. And he pulls out a belt pouch, and he sets it on the table, and you hear a thunk as it hits. Uh, inside you see silver. Uh, 50 silver, to be specific. That's wonderful. Thank you very much for that. Well, thank you very much for that. And, uh, he looks up to the barkeep, and he says, um, round on me, and he kind of tosses a few coins the barkeep's way. <coughs> Well, thank you. You're very generous. That was mighty Mr. nice. Cox thank you. Ma'am, and then he wanders back out. I'll hand the barkeep another silver and go, a free round of drinks for okay. the gentleman's at the table next to us, too. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> rounds on the house, kind of, is what he kind of calls out. and So he's like, uh, what do y'all have? Water. Give me an ale. Give me an ale. ale. Glass. Yeah, Wanders me. over to this table uh, and for you. I mean, water, I mean, water. Water. water is good. And then the other two order fire branding. Yeah, lightweight over there. All right. And he goes back behind hey. the counter and begins working. Hey. You sure about that ale? They don't. They haven't established new protocols and everything else how to do the mead and how to ferment it. <laughs> Then maybe in 30 minutes I shit out back. <laughs> we'll, see. we'll see. How much money did we get? Uh, you got 50 silver. Minus one's 49. Minus one's 49. I hand Christina 15. Because it'll be 15 for her, 15 for DJ, 15 for me. Oh, okay. For the party. You tracking? I'm tracking very well. Yep, I'm tracking very well. All right. <clears throat> yes, but that's what I do. Mm -hmm. I have money. I, didn't realize I, had I have money. I didn't realize I had that much money. 
Fifteen silver is a lot. I have 139. I have 139. <laughs> I need to bury this somewhere and die. Come back to my real body so I can go dig it up. All right, so I'm going to shift gears to uh, Fulduin. All right, so you enter into the bar. You see the tanner and the blacksmith drinking. Uh, the tanner looks up and he raises his mug. Hey, Fulduin, good to see you, lass. Or lad. Why are there two of ye? Lass. <laughs> Hmm? He looks at you and goes, why are there two of ye? No. No. Yeah, so he's, he's drunk. drunk. <laughs> Very. So I walk up to him and ask him, how's the bear cloak oh, the bear coming? the bear cloak's coming along fine. It should be ready by uh, sometime in the next two days or so. Cool. cool. Sit, have a drink with us. I do. And he oh, gulps sure. this thing down, forgets yeah, that it's his, and slides it to you, empty. <laughs> Sounds about right. Looks around. <laughs> Sounds hey, about right. where'd my ale go? <laughs> I slide the mug back to him. I slide the mug ah, back to him. It's empty. Barkeep! And around that time is when you guys get your second round from the barkeep. <laughs> Looks over, <laughs> the barkeep essentially is like, uh, that's from those two there. You need to pay your tab. Aye, aye, I will. Give me a moment. Aye, come join us. Okay. Eh? Come join us. What'd you say? I'm hard of hearing. It's time for ah. some drinking. Aye. Sure. I got plenty, sure. I got plenty of drink. He, uh, the barkeep kind of wanders over I'm to you as you kind of get up to go over. He's like, don't encourage any drinking games from him. I don't want any of my tables broken again. Again? Woo. And then again? He back Woo. behind the bar. Unless, of course, you want to play a D6 based <laughs> game of D&D. <clears throat> Alrighty. So. They uh, look over at uh, both of you, or all of you, really, and uh, the one guy that isn't completely wasted, the blacksmith, he kind of looks down and he's like. Fulduin, didn't you, uh, or didn't you actually get the, uh, the bear as well? Were there two of them? Well, it, well, it, yeah, yeah, apparently. Two, two bears. Demonic bears. Hmm. Sounds like a bods joke. They weren't demonic. They were not Us. demonic. If you had seen what I'd seen, <laughs> and his I, he, he as he takes a swig. <laughs> I, I was there. I was there. That was not a demonic bear. What bear. was it, Lass? I don't know what you're talking about. The one that I thought was. It was a bear. It was a bear that had some kind of animal in it that was making it hungry all Lass, the time. It was big. It was black, and it had purple streaks going around it. That is the very definition of demonic. Regular bears around these parts are either just black or brown. We don't have much much of a variety. I, I, understand, that. I, I understand that. But the bear, the bear had a disease. So it was a sick demonic bear. Gosh, this these poor bears around here are just getting worse off by the day. We should no have the kidding. hunters look into that. Mm. And then he gulps down another bit. So, what brings you to town? Hey. I'm just still here waiting for my bear cloak. With a point of stare at the tanner. The tanner just kind of drinks another swig of his ale. <laughs> oh, and a lovely Tuesday it is. <laughs> 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 You're not getting that cloak anytime soon. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, uh, I gotta yep. go do something real quick. Yep. See you in a bit. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Alrighty. So, so, you guys are drinking with them. At this point, they've kind of engaged you guys in some a little bit of conversation about the demonic bears you guys both ended up fighting. 
Um. Uh... Wait. Can I inter can I interject sure. with something? Because I heard something. Who said about not engaging the with barkeep. him in drinking games? The barkeep. Great. I'll I'll lean in and go. You guys like drinking games the, uh... too. <laughs> the tanner looks over and he's like, "I love drinking games." <laughs> <laughs> this does sound like a good good time. So, when we play this drinking game, what occurs? What kind of drinking game do you like? Usually, and he pulls out of his pocket a thing of cards. We base it off of these. And I am to take you for an honest man. And I am to take you for an honest man. As honest as any gambler, I suppose. Yeah, the best type. Very well, deal the cards, teach Okay, me. so he starts passing out cards. You guys realize it's a variant of 21. Okay. Essentially, okay. whoever loses ultimately has to buy the next round, is what it is. It's a very simple game, but very awesome. interesting. Alright, so are you playing? Heck yeah, I'm gonna Me play too. with these guys. Right, Me too. Let's see here. I look at the elf. He's, what uh, about you, he's elf? AFK at the moment. Are you pointing he's, ears he's for nothing? He's, he's AFK for the second. He'll be right back. Right. Oh. Alright. Hmm. Seriously, yep. you have cards here? <laughs> Get the fuck All right, out! Alright, so. Let me shuffle real quick. Alright. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> are we really gonna play a game in yep. World D20? We are! I can't do this drinking game anymore, it's just too much for me. You went way above my expectations, Nick. So how does this work? Alright, so now? everybody should get two cards. Uh, I will be the house. Okay. <laughs> so all you have okay. to do, and the house is going to be the two NPCs there that are right there. So that just means that you guys have to beat me. Okay. Okay. Do I just hit draw so cards or something? So if you want to draw cards, no, you I am not going to draw cards. If you want one, I will deal you another one. You should oh, have I have two. zero right now. Click on the cards. You have your two. Name. Right, but I. I know, but I can't see them. What do you mean you can't see them? I just clicked on the cards and it showed me exactly what I had. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Where do I click, click on the card on the that's cards? above your name? The thing that has the two in it. Oh, it says the number two on it. Okay, I've never done this before, so I don't know how yeah. to, how it works. <laughs> I see my cards. I see my right, cards. So Thank let you. me know if you guys need right. any cards. We'll have to do this on a trust system because I don't actually know how to actually look at your cards. <laughs> no. Right. No. Okay. I don't need any cards. All right. I don't so need any cards. What did you guys get? I got a seventeen. I got a 17. All right, I got, got a 20. 18. So you guys Dang. lose. That means you have to buy the next Dang round. It. Uh, each round is going to be <laughs> five silver for a round because there's five of you. Oh, oh. this beer. There's no copper uh, it's pieces. It's all based in this on game? silver. There's no gold either. All right, well, we'll use the rest of the party funds, Christina. That's fine. And then we'll take one out of DJ's. That's fine. He won't miss it. That's right. It's DJ's down All right. 14. All right, let's go. For the second round. <laughs> Right, we gotta win. All players. All right. Okay, yeah. All right. How many? Just one, of course. <laughs> you do one, then one, okay, then one. I'm also gonna take one. Christina? I'm taking none. I'm taking none. All right. All right, I'm holding. Tyson? Holding. All right, what'd you guys get? I'm holding. 20. Okay. 20. Tyson? Um, I'm going with hers. <laughs> Mine sucks. What'd you get, Tyson? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you went over. 22. All right, so Christina, you win. You Players win ties because I got 20 as well. I don't know how the hell I keep getting 20, but okay. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, it must be. I had a five, an ace, and a four, <laughs> so it put me right at twenty. All right, one more, one more. All round right, so they buy the next round. So what I need you. you guys to do real quick is I need you guys to roll me a resilience check. Damn it! I'm drinking water. Whoever's drinking alcohol, I need. You. Well, <laughs> are you actually drinking water? They're so they're so drunk. They're so drunk. I'm just okay, chugging let me water roll for them. Any difficulty? Uh, Any it's difficulty? Be average. So three. So three. Two. Right? Two purples. Two. Right or one, two? Okay, so Christina. <laughs> all right. So both of all the group except for Tyson fail. So everybody, no matter what it is, has to get an extra card. Is how I'm going to deal with that. So. Let's okay. put it this way. Two for right. everyone. <laughs> okay, and then an extra card for both me and Christina. Uh, do you want one, Tyson? Uh, mine has, I don't have any cards. No, I open it up and it's blank. There's nothing there. I click on it like okay, I usually... Oh, there. There, there we go. Um. Yes, I'll take one. All right. Hold up. <laughs> I gotta fucking do my math. All right. I'll take another. I'll wow. take another. Are you sure? Are you sure? No. All right. Um. Holy I'll shit! I'll take another. Are <laughs> you getting nothing but low cards? <laughs> All right, there you go. Please. I'll okay, keep, I'll so keep, I'll keep. I'm also gonna get one. Actually, let me let me roll again just to see if uh, they get more than one because they are getting kind of drunk, and they failed this last one with an advantage. Yep, they're taking another one. <laughs> Okay, anyway, so, uh, anybody else need any more cards, or are you guys good? I am so good. I am so good. Alrighty. what'd you guys get? I'm good. 21. 21. What'd you get, Tyson? <laughs> <laughs> I got 18 all Alright, well, they completely fail out. <laughs> completely. Uh, so, essentially what happens is, they, uh, pass out drunk on the table after they're drunk their drinking games. The uh, barkeep noticed and you could tell that he had something in his hand ready to bash all of you over the head and kick you out of his store or out of his work area. But seeing as how this is a card game, he just was like, okay, fine. I'll let him play until they get too rowdy. Unfortunately, those guys have had too much to drink and they're just on the table. Um, can I sense use, I don't know, a magic spell to sense that if they have any coins left on them. You could just yeah. rifle through their pockets. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't want the innkeeper um, to see it. Go ahead and roll me a utility spell. Let's see here. You're trying to hide it from the barkeep, right? Your magic use? Well, how about this? I make it where I look like I'm still sitting down by I'm rifling through the pockets. How about a spell like that? That's still gonna fall under utility. How about you pretend you're trying to hide it? So. Uh, you drink water. <laughs> uh, you drink water. You can't pretend you're vomiting like so, you're sick. So what nope. I'm gonna need you to roll is I need you to roll a red and a black. Yeah, I'm against using spell against your thing? spell craft or your arcana. Uh, the red is coming because I'm using a story point. So you guys are sitting at five to zero. Oh, oh, good God. He catches you. He catches right, you. So, no, he's got a success. No, he doesn't. I succeed. Right. So it means I succeed with four okay. advantages. And a despair. Okay, so as far as your despair is concerned... Sorry, I need to get to the magic because there's a special thing that I like about the magic that it can do with like despairs and stuff. 
I remember this. Fuck you. <laughs> actually, that failure you had, that massive, like, five threat, actually wasn't that bad for you. Rock book. Alright, so what do you want your four advantages to be? Give me, set, set up what happened when you used magic to pilfer these guys' pockets. Dude, when nothing else is going on in the room, there's really not much you could do for a there fucking advantage. There is a advantage. lot you could do. Um, um, the barkeep drops his glass and looks See? down. Christina got it. <laughs> I'm getting there. Christina, <laughs> stop my I was going to say, if you guys like, you can also help each other out that way as well. Hey, I, I, helped, you I, I helped you out. A strong wind slams okay. the door shut. So much so that it knocks a mug off the countertop. And the barkeep has to pick it up. And I'm able to get back to my chair before he gets up. Welcome back, uh, boss. <coughs> Alright, so all of this leads to the barkeep being completely oblivious because he's trying to, like, go, what the hell's going on in my store? Tyson. Until the end of the next combat Whoa. encounter, unfortunately, you overexerted yourself with magic. You are unable to cast spells until the end of the next, like, combat encounter or social encounter oh. if that we get to that. Oh! Oh, that, that happened? Suck! Okay. Alright. Christina, let me know when that happens, okay? Text me. Alrighty. So, anyway, you guys started a drinking game <laughs> off of, like, 21, and then Tyson rifled through the uh, two unconscious people's pockets. Did he? Yeah, um, did he, did he, yeah, did he, he find something. anything? Just give me a second. I gotta get my dice out here, because I'm gonna roll for it. Let's see what you get. Do, do, do. Okay. You find 19 silver pieces between the two of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> DJ got his one back. <laughs> Alright, so after all of that, it's starting to Did get... I find any... No, Did I find just pocket points. knives? What? They don't carry anything else on them. A tanner and a blacksmith. If they're coming in to drink, generally people don't take a whole lot of stuff with them. They don't really have wallets outside of their coin purses here. Okay. Uh, you would be lucky to find a knife on them because generally only people that are going to combat or some such would have a knife at this point, or unless they're a hunter. All right, very well. All righty. Fair enough. So, uh, essentially, you've been kind of put into this game, and they essentially have won most of them. Uh, what would you like to do now? Because they've been just like going through ale. They've gone through like four cups of ale at this point. I'm a little enamored. I'm a little enamored. I, ha I have not been to the hell, but you don't know that. Why, hello there, Lev. Why, hello there, Lev. Are you sure you haven't been drinking anything? He is sure he has, I, he is sure he has not been drinking. I have been drinking a lot. I'm going to scoot over. I'm going to scoot over and hope lightning doesn't strike him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed, I have. But you know what is very interesting, pointed one, is that you are the tallest person at this table. No, except for the tanner. He's about the same height. Nope, he's definitely drunk off his ass and currently laying on the table. He's slumped over. You're the tallest. Definitely okay. the tallest. So where do you come from? Well, nowhere really. I'm a free city elf, so. Nowhere in a free city elf. <laughs> free range elf? Free city elf. Yeah. Big city elf. You're quite strange. I'm from Louisiana. Interesting. It is, isn't it, indeed. You ever seen the place? No. It's shaped like a shoe. It's too bad. <laughs> Of course, it's shaped like a shoe. You got that right. It looks like part of the shoe fell off at the bottom. It's kind of flowing out in the middle of nowhere. The toe is coming out. Yeah. Huh. All right, so about this time, the two begin to kind of snore. And the uh, barkeep kind of walks oh, over. Oh, gosh. And he's like, um, 
Well, will you be requiring rooms, or do you have uh, lodging already available? Uh, require rooms. I'm chilling with the Tanner. Well, it looks like he's chilling here tonight, Why so I assume we're going rough. to cuddle. Aww. No, I'm going to take okay. them all. <laughs> and you two will require rooms? Seeing as how you kept that game to a minimum, no. I would be more than willing to give you each a room. Actually, we're with the elf. Actually, we're with the elf. We are? What? We are? What? We are indeed. Okay. <laughs> you have two adultish children to take care of. You do know how big this guy's house is, right? <gasps> it's a shack. That's all right. We'll all get along. All right. No way. Thank you Let so the, much, uh, honey. The cuddling begin. You're the no. best. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. There's only one. <laughs> oh! I hear Eiffel Tower! <laughs> no! no. Alright, anyway. Now that that's out of the way. Alright, so the barkeep's like, alright, I'll just shout if you need any more ale. And wanders back to his bar. I'm good. Don't want to get too drunk. Never know what's going to walk through those doors. <laughs> Alright, so as you guys kind of are chilling in there, I'm assuming you guys aren't heading out quite yet. You start to see the room slowly fill up no. with um, people. Uh, most are just the general townsfolk you expect. Okay. Um, okay. A couple of guards here and there, but nothing really, really major. Eventually, the place starts to kind of get right. somewhat crowded. So, mm -hmm. quick question: Do we have a quest? You right guys now, are, or are we just no. chilling? We're just chilling. Okay. Alrighty. So, what would you guys like to do? <clears throat> um. um. Uh, get some water, listen around, see if they heard about the bear or the children that announced the bear. <laughs> so you get you a know. couple of sideways glances from the people that are coming in because they're like, why are there kids? And then they're like, oh, gnomes. Okay. Um, you do hear, you do hear some Gunny, idle get chatter, this. but unfortunately oh, it's fairly God. noisy in here just because everybody's chattering that has somebody else to chill with. Mm. Which is basically everybody. Mm hmm so, go ahead and roll me a perception check if you want to hear what they're talking about. Uh, Which table uh, specifically do you want to listen into? Uh, this one closes. Uh, okay, this so one that's closes. going to be an average check with a setback due to the din. Uh, I am going to... All right. I can't. Shit, I don't have any story points. Alrighty. Alrighty, so anyway, it's going to be one purple, or two purple and one black. Okay, Damn. unfortunately the din is Damn. so bad that you can't really hear it, and unfortunately, what would you like your other two setbacks to, or what would you like your three setbacks to do? Chair breaks underneath me? Chair breaks underneath me? Okay. Yeah, the chair breaks underneath you and you hit the floor. Uh, go ahead and take one wound. People. All right. All right. That should draw a little attention and yeah. people laughing. Done. The people around just start uh, kind of chuckling. <laughs> All right. So what about you? Uh... Wow, I almost said the wrong name. What about you, Landon? I almost called Jeez. you Sam. <laughs> Aww. Right Aww. Yeah, I know. What are you doing? Right there. Okay. I'm go ahead and roll me an easy with one black. Uh, perception check. Alright. Green. P. Yeah. Should be. Right? Yeah. S is set back. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. P it's is an S. I'll let you have the boost because you've got your uh, elvish ears. 
All right, so <laughs> what would you like your Gee. set? Now? I don't know. I don't know. Think about it in terms of what you're doing right hmm. now. I accidentally pay the bartender one okay. too many He doesn't points. really say anything because he's kind of busy at the moment, and he just puts it in the till. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as what you're hearing, essentially yeah. you're hearing rumor or you're hearing excitement about the uh, festivities that are to come in the morning. Uh, they were talking about dragon shooting and some mm -hmm. uh, cheese, some other things that you can do. Yeah, Dragon it's a uh, kind of a, a it's a game that they play during the festivals time. So essentially, they're talking about different oh, kinds of games you can play: cool. maypole dancing, the silver ball hurling, cheese rolling, a wrestling contest, and then dragon okay. shooting. Uh, the biggest one appears to be the dragon shooting. I ask, I ask this, NPC. this NPC, this one, over here, this one. Oh, right yep. here. This one. What is dragon shooting? You're not from around here, are you? Nope. Nope. Couldn't you tell by the well, night? Well, I just years? assumed you might have come from the forest over yonder, and he kind of points out the window towards where you can kind of make out the forest. Yeah, I get that. A lot. Yeah, I get well, that. You are a lot. an elf. That's where most of the elves reside on this continent. <clears throat> At least from most what I hear yes, tell. But I'm a free city free elf. City elf. So. What does that entail? It just means that I've lived among humans. Ah, all my life. what uh, what part of the uh, where have you, where do you hail from then? One second, I need to find a map, <laughs> find a map of the place. <laughs> Go ahead and Somewhere roll me a. Um... Uh, hold on, let me get the knowledge checks. Because there's different knowledges in this game than there are in the other one. Yep. There's adventuring forbidden. There's adventuring forbidden Give lore me a and geography. geography role. It's going to be intellect, and I'm pretty sure you're not uh, uh, experienced in it. Yep. Intellect. Hmm. Geography. 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 Where's geography? Is it yeah, just a straight, straight intellect roll? It's going to be an average roll. Green, green, purple, purple. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> All right, well, go ahead and use what you see there. Uh, you've got a failure and two threats. Or a failure and an advan two advantages. I know I've got a failure. So how do the two advantages help you in this situation? They don't care that I... They don't care that I screwed up the enunciation of where I think I'm from. Huh, sounds like a lovely place to uh, grow up. Is it far from here? Very. Very. Anyway, back to your original question. Dragon shooting. Essentially, a little magic... Mm -hmm. Something or other, I think they call it a clockwork, though I'm not sure exactly what the hell that means. Uh, they set it free, and your job is to try and shoot it. Kinda Whoever manages to bring this dragon down me of... gets a whole bunch of money. Dang it, I wish I had a bow. Ooh. Dang it, I wish I had a bow. I do, and I'm very skilled with it. <laughs> Just so you're aware, they don't allow allow regular arrows. These ones are blunted. For what I've heard, this dragon has been used for over 50 years, actually. Hmm. Also, you'll be racing against some of the finest hunters and children that we have in this town. Children? Yes, children. children. Everyone is entitled to, uh, or is encouraged to participate. The Lord himself actually uh, I'm getting flashbacks. is the one who pays the purse for the winner. Getting flashbacks from our D&D game. Sounds fun. How do I enter? Sounds fun. How do well, I enter? The uh, list of events will be put up 
on the uh, notice board outside the inn here. And uh, all you'll have to do is let the people know that you wish to participate. Okay. Okay. Good uh, you'll have to now. wait till tomorrow, lad. They aren't ready yet. <laughs> Such an abusive elves. Ahead of time, or are they provided? Say that one more time. Are the arrows provided ahead? Uh, Provided, or do I have to buy the them? The arrows are of provided. Time? This is a festival, after all. That's what I thought. Just making sure. They'll, uh, if I'm not mistaken, they'll also provide the bow, as well. What? Well, you see, if they let anybody enter with their own equipment, uh, it would make it unfair for the children. True. And for some of the others that True. might not be able to shoot as much. Like myself, I'm a farmer by trade. I don't actually get much time with a bow. I'm much more proficient with a pitchfork or a hoe. Well, no wonder this thing's lasting <laughs> 50. Uh, are you saying that under your breath, or are you saying that loud enough where he can hear you? <laughs> <laughs> under my breath. Anyway, but yes. <laughs> I intend to actually uh, do the cheese roll and the dragon shooting. I do like a nice wheel of cheese every now and again. Wait, cheese roll? Wait, cheese roll? Where do you hail from again, lad? Do they not have any of these games? Where <laughs> <we play? laughs> no. Cheese no. rolling. They get a wheel of cheese, and they roll it down a hill, and you are encouraged to chase it. If you catch it, you get a free wheel of cheese. And it's great, because all you have to do is cut off oh, the edge. Sounds... All you have to do is cut off the edge where the dirt touches it, yeah. and it's an amazing piece of cheese. Or an amazing bit of cheese. Not bad. <laughs> uh, another, the other guy <laughs> on the other side at this point kind of perks his interest. Well, I'm going to be into the wrestling contest. You do have wrestling where you're from, Elf. That we do. That All we right. do. Good. Although I'm sure it's a bit different. Uh, does it involve two people in no. a circle trying to pin the other? <laughs> I or throw wrestling. them out of the circle? No, it involves two people in a circle trying well, to throw the other out. Well, that's part of the fun, too, but a lot of times we like to pin our foes and hold them there until they give up. Fair and he kind of shows you his muscles. He's actually fairly big. Uh, I've been, I've been winning for six years that. now. My bad. So, anyway. I'm still, I'm trying, just now I'm still I'm trying just now to stand <laughs> up. <laughs> just my butt off. All right, so your head starts, you're swimming around and stuff. You stagger and kind of hit the table, but are able to maintain balance. Didn't break the chair. Didn't break the chair. Alrighty, so is there anything else you guys would like to do? Nope. Other than Nope. Other than escort our friend to the room, to his home. Our friend. Yeah. All our right. friend. Yeah. So, you guys escort the... You escort the uh, Tanner home. He lives right out here. Uh, when you reach his house, essentially okay. you kind of see the what you'd expect to be a Tanner's house. It's nothing super exotic. Mm -hmm. It's great to hide in from the guards, so. It's wonderful. <laughs> it's wonderful. So, anyway, you kind of help the tanner into bed. Uh, the rest of you find whatever beds or, or anything else are available. Unfortunately, it's not much. Um, luckily, there's plenty of furs lying around, so you can at least use those for blankets to include a drying bear fur. Is that the one you killed? Yes. So you notice that it's actually a fairly similar brown Poor color bear. to the uh, bear that you guys took down as well. Poor bear. Poor bear. Poor bear? Poor bear? He almost killed my entire party. Yeah, he almost killed my entire party. Including <laughs> me. He 
<laughs> he wasn't himself. You hear you hear in the distance. That may demon be. bear. A sick <laughs> demon bear. No, he wasn't. <laughs> he wasn't a sick demon bear. It's a bear with the bear flu. <laughs> but a demon. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, are you guys just wanting to skip ahead, or do you guys have something you want to do in this guy's house? No. no. Skip ahead. Right. Tyson would want to steal something, but I'm not that way. Yeah, don't piss off the Tanner. He has saved no. my characters, but more than a couple of times. I'm back. Oh. Alrighty. Okay. I'm back. <laughs> he heard his so name. So essentially, being... you guys just escorted the Tanner back to his house. Uh, there's really not much in the way of beds, though there are plenty of furs that you can sleep on and use as blankets, etc. at your leisure. Nice. Okay. I am not spooning with you. I am not spooning with you. <laughs> no. You're not what? Spooning. You're not what? <laughs> Alright, so the next day you guys wake up. Uh, you see a whole bunch of people wandering up. Go ahead. Hold up. Sorry. Did you did you ever say your what your name is there, no. Landon? No. Fulton Mormonor. Bless you. Say, say your name again. Fulton Mormonor. Bless you. Morton. Does that name Fulton. sound familiar? To me? Uh, go ahead and roll me a uh, a knowledge. Uh, just give me a knowledge like geography or something along those lines. All right, here. here. Knowledge, geography. Of course, I have no points in geography, do I? Definitely don't. Definitely don't. All right, let's hear. What's the difficulty? Uh, What's the difficulty? It's going to be uh, hard, three purples. Jeez. Uh, you have her somewhere in the back of your mind, you, you're, not you yourself, you can kind of realize that this is a different, um, uh, like different memories from your own. This apparently is the host body's memories. Uh, essentially you, you have heard of the name Fulduin Mormonor before. You just don't know where. Uh, what would you like your setback mm. to be? I need to pee really bad. Okay. Uh, you have to pee so bad that it takes one strain. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. If you'll excuse me, I was thinking really hard about your name because I thought I've heard of you before. And I've got to pee. Where's the outhouse around here? What outhouse? There's toilet. There's, There's woods. grasses out there. Use them. You've never heard of a toilet. You've never heard of a toilet. Elf man? Of course I've heard of a toilet. It's just not in this house. This, well, shack. You know what the toilet is? Yeah. Don't you? I do indeed. So there's no indoor plumbing? What do you think this place is? What do you think this place is? The palace? <laughs> I'm just checking. So I'll go outside Alrighty. to use the bathroom. Alrighty, so you come back. Anything else you would like to do before we skip ahead to the next day? No, sleep. Nope. No, sleep. All right, nope. so anyway, no you guys wake up the sleep. next morning to a whole bunch of people excitedly wandering down the road and heading towards the fairgrounds. Um, yes, we all of your guys' back? strain and wounds are back up to normal. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Even though I fell. Can I cast uh, spells no. yet? No. No. We had a social encounter with the barkeep when he walked up. Uh, I'm counting that as the current social encounter. Once we get into the actual games, God. that's where you'll have your first encounter, and you'll be good. You'll be fine in a minute. All right. You'll be fine in a minute. So anyway, you guys wander into the the playing area, essentially, uh, where you see tents have been erected. There apparently has been, like, fencing that's been put into the ground for, like, different games like the uh, silver, silver ball hurling and some jousting and stuff like that. Um, so, essentially, as you, got, you guys can have free roam wherever you would like to go. 
I'll kind of describe what you find as you go. Okay. What's over here? So okay. Over there What's are like here? shops and confectionery type stuff. You have like roasted pig and some of that stuff, smoked bacon. Is blacksmith showing his uh, way? So the blacksmith is actually further along. He's more down towards this section of the uh, events. So right around here. Yeah. So, so essentially right what you here. find there are the usual stuff you'd expect. Uh, some finer crafts throughout the year that he's completed. Jewelry, weapons, just mm -hmm. kind of just your stuff that you'd normally kind of look for. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Christina, for you, you find the same deal. Essentially, this stuff here appears to be like the more hardened crafting set stuff. Uh, if okay. you're looking for more like apothecary okay. or uh, like seamstresses or something along those lines, where you're looking at is going to be down here. Down where? South. Down right? where? South to the other two large tents. Down this way. Yep. Down this way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep, so somewhere yeah. around in there. You'll notice I have two of these tokens here. That's where the seamstress is specifically. Outside of that, you can find the apothecary and stuff in that section. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Am I right? Uh, I asked the blacksmith what... How much is best dagger? My be? best dagger, you say? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, Somebody just that was my chair. My was best my chair. dagger happens to be this one, and he shows you an intricately forged dagger. Uh, it has very little in the way of like flourishes to the design, but you can tell that whoever mm -hmm. crafted it knows exactly what they're doing. This here is a dwarven Probably dagger. Probably too expensive for me. Made in the forges of, as soon as my map comes up again, in the forges of Bran Ogle. Interesting. Hmm. Huh. Do you make bows as well, or is that another? Uh, I type do of occasionally make the ranged weaponry, but if you're looking for that, I would go speak to the hunters. They do a much better job. Fair enough. Fair enough. One second, I'm trying to check something in the book. Anyway, so while you're kind of thinking about that, uh, what are you doing there, Tyson? Oh, I didn't think I was part of this. I oh, I didn't think I was part oh, of this because I have a black Sorry, screen. Sorry, I forgot your uh, token was the one <laughs> that was stupid in here, too. No, you're trying to no, say I'm no, stupid because no. my, my no, token is no. always stupid in every game. I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> You guys can hear whatever the hell you want, but it's not true. No. Hold up. Hold up. Is this wooly mammoth uh, they're no. walking around? Essentially, these guys right here are guards, like the city guard. Um, Why do the city guards look like uh, That's dudes? the, that's the on their Bear towers. Arms. Uh, uh, technically, it's bear. Bear, but yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I like how you did Just the NPC. Straight white circles NPC. <laughs> Makes it easier for me. Yeah. Not Ooh. important NPC. Uh, Who are these people down here? Those guys happen to be the seamstress and yet. her apprentice. Ah. So you weren't expecting that. Got it. Weren't expecting that. <laughs> What is this over here? Overwear. Oh, that—that's gonna be the uh, like an arena, 
where they'll be doing the silver ball toss and then do a little bit of jousting and whatnot. Uh, the hunters are in the same area as where you're at, so. Where's, where's the game? Where's the game? Where's the game? Where's the game? Tyson, what are you doing? There has to be these people gambling around here. Go up into the NPC here. sections. You'll find gambling all over in that area. All right. So, I'm assuming you're trying to engage somebody in gambling. I, I am. I, I all right. Am so you indeed. see several like people out there doing uh, different little like fighting. Like they're fighting with wooden weapons, but you can tell it's like a kind of like a gladiatorial match. Um. Anybody can really enter if they want, but you notice most of the people are like, eh, I'd rather not get whacked by a stick. <laughs> but they're happy to gamble some of their money, etc. So, essentially right. at this point, you've got a uh, couple of people you can kind of hit up. Um, one of them is a, uh, looks to be like the farmer from yesterday that you were, that, uh, Fuldwin kind of met. Another one happens to be the blacksmith, and then you have a variety of other smaller, like kids are gambling candy and some of that as well. Nice. Well, to heck with this. Nice. Well, to heck with this. I'm gonna go in there with those stick. <laughs> I'm not gonna gamble with these blacksmith again. I still hold all this money. I feel kind of bad <laughs> to steal it again. Alrighty. I'm going to wait in there okay, with the stick. So you go up to the officiator and he's like, hey, on your head, kid, if you want in this. <laughs> hey, I'm you betting against the dwarf. Hey, I'm you betting against the dwarf. I bet 10 gold against, bet 10 gold a, against a the dwarf. We're gnomes, no. not dwarf. We're gnomes, not dwarf. Right, so 10 gold? Jeez. Sure. All right, so Tyson, sure. I need you to make me an opposed check because it's your turn after a few minutes. Uh, go ahead and give me a your melee. Why does he have He's gold? He's saying gold, but it's silver. 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 Oh, silver. Shush. Dang, dude, this guy's rich, man. <laughs> yeah, right. He's oh. a muggy. Jesus. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All right, so it's right, going to be an opposed check, here. so it'll be your melee. Are you using a sword, a pike, or something along those lines? What kind of wooden weapon are you wanting to use? Let me check my combat area. <clears throat> yeah, sucks. So, yeah, it sucks. So, I'm going to use, I'm going to use my teeth, my teeth oh. and claws. Okay, so you're going to be oh. like oh. All right. Because I can't use my <laughs> magic spells. I see what you're trying to do, by the way. Anyway, so go ahead and roll me a brawl check. So whatever your brawl is. <laughs> It's going to be versus a green, or a purple, and a red. Dear God. Dear God. Well, you're fighting experienced people here, so. A purple? <laughs> With bare fists. <laughs> On God, good size. On God, good size. Wait, I will use a story point because I'm going to walk in there. And the crowd will root for me because they feel bad that it's a child. All right, All right so <laughs> hold on. How much gold did you bet on him? Ten ten. On him, ten. Ten against, him. against me. Against him. Okay, go ahead against and roll the dice and see if you succeed or not. Oh, looks, like you, looks like you oh, lost oh, ten oh, silver. Oh, oh. You hear some uh, cheering from the stands, Tyson, as you kind of... <laughs> as you handily <laughs> grapple this guy to the ground, who's trying to, like, apparently whack you with I'm his fighting. stick. Not doing a very good job. Apparently, I'm he, fighting, man. as you look at him, he actually looks a little tired. He must have been fighting for a little while. Yeah, oh, you excuses, excuses. My advantages, I give. Oh him my a god! <laughs> All right, oh. and he's on the ground. They uh, send out some medical people to go and grab him and take him off to the side. And then I stand up, wipe the blood from my teeth. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Oh, Tyson. All right, so uh, then they come out and say, uh, At least I'm what's your name? My name? Yes, your name. My name is Hublimkus Cogsprocket. Cogs and our winner is Cogsprocket, and the crowd starts to cheer. 
And then uh, he's like, all right, Cog Sprocket, you ready for the next round? Yes, I am indeed. Yes, I am indeed. Beat the shit out of me. <laughs> all right. So, and at this point, the guy that you gambled with earlier, Landon, he's like, hey, how about uh, we do uh, the best two out of, like, do another one. If you win, I'll give you your gold back plus 10. If I win, you'll give me an extra 10 plus another 10. All right, go ahead. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and roll the uh, go ahead and roll the same he check there, Tyson. Come on, Tyson. Roll the next you got one, Tyson. this, buddy. <laughs> okay. Same difficulty. What's the difficulty? Oh my god, no. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Are you going to use a story Tyson. point to do you it again? Got this. I believe in you. Hold up. Hold up. I would like okay. to use a story point. And because of, my recent because of my recent experience, may I get a boost? Recent experience with their fighting style, or how are you? The fighting style and the ball twister. Okay, I'll give you a yeah, boost, but because they all one. saw what happened, you're also going to get a setback because they're prepared for it. <laughs> so go ahead and roll. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, wait, wait, wait. Let's see here. S and B. All right. Oh. Right. All right, Tyson. Oh. Tell me what happens. Well, I didn't succeed. I didn't. Well, I didn't fail. I just strained myself. We're still okay, locked yeah, in combat, right? Okay. Yeah. This fight's taking a little bit, and you take a strain as you're fighting. Go ahead and roll it again. Are you going to use another story point for this? Don't do it. Don't do it. You can. There. It's three to two at the moment. I'll use another All right, story I'm going to use one sir. to make that other purple into a red as well. <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> All right, here you go. Ooh. Okay, so what happened, Tyson? Oh! He waxed the shit out of me and kicked me in the balls. All right, what's your advantage? <laughs> my advantage is, though, I my advantage is I do keep conscious as I lay there. All right. Bleeding. So whack, 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 whack. <laughs> so the guy turns back to you, uh, Landon, <laughs> passes over the 20 gold or 20 silver. Thank you. <laughs> he calls out, well, fuck you, little one. <laughs> well fought indeed. Oh, if I had no extra red. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway. <laughs> You What's know that? what my triumph would be? Is that I smacked his weapon out of his hand and it hit the guy that Landon was betting oh, and okay. I tried to knock him out. And then Landon could steal all of his gold back. <laughs> Looking out for you, man. Alrighty. But that didn't happen. So. I would like that. Alrighty, so you get ushered back out of the deal. Tyson, your encounter's done, so you can now use magic again. Um, Christina, while they've been gambling and stuff, because this takes at least an hour, what are you doing? Yes. I am looking for some new clothes. Oh, I am can, looking for some I new clothes, because I've been wearing these for okay. a couple of days. All right, at least. say that again, Tyson. Do I win anything for at least winning a round? Yeah, they pass out, like, this little, or they give you this little, what looks to be, like, a participation award. Essentially, it's a, uh, like, a little... <laughs> Like a wooden medallion. Nice. The participation Thanks. trophy. The participation <laughs> trophy. <laughs> Alrighty, so yeah, and you get back one strain too. So, all right, so you go up to the seamstress. Uh, you see this kind of rather haggard old woman uh, on her loom, actually making cloth right in front of you. Uh, nice. Her apprentice nice. actually is the one that greets you. Hello, how can I help you? Um, I'm in need of some new clothes. Um, I'm in need of some new clothes. Desperately. Badly. Desperately. Uh, you see her kind of like scratch underneath her nose. Um, do come in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she promptly takes you to the back and you see a tub that has been like heated. And she's like, uh, you'll want to take the, take the bath first, my dear. Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> uh, as you hop in the bath, I do so. she comes up behind you, and you you can feel her as she's like actually like scrubbing your scalp, etc. And she's using some sort of like 
It's om- it smells like soap, but it's it's like a homemade soap, so it doesn't really smell like amazing. Yes. But uh, yeah, it works. But it works. Being out in the dirt and all that so, for the last. As you get out, she half. also helps you dry and that sort of deal. And uh, at the same time, thank you. She also starts taking your measurements. Of course. Of course. Uh, what sort of clothing are you looking for? We have a variety of dresses. Um, that sort of thing. Well, um, well, um, I need just a shirt and a pair of pants and a dress would be. She kind of looks at you kind of like, in a pants, you must be an adventurer. I came in after the bear was, I came in after the bear was, was killed. Yes. Thank you so much yes. for taking care of that bear for us. It was a, a terror. <laughs> Uh, difference of opinion. Let's just say that. <laughs> the mama bear. As, no, as, 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 as this is going on, you just hear Landon walk by talking about this demonic bear that almost ripped him out of a tree. <laughs> All right. So anyway, she starts getting your sizes, yeah, that sort of deal. Uh, these should be ready in a few days if you uh, want to come back for them. Uh, at the moment, we do have these, okay. and she shows you some of the wares. They're a little big on you because they're designed for a little taller people, but yes. uh, you can make them work if you need yes. to. Yes, I'll make them work. At least I'll, I'll make them work. work. At least a okay. And so she says pants. that'll be uh, two silver. There you go. All there right. you go. And she hands you what appears to be like a stick with a number on it. Uh, just come back with that, and you're we'll, mm-hmm. in a couple of days, and we'll give you the other clothes. Okay, here? Uh, okay, no, here? I want to go into the shop. By that time, this festival will be over. Okay, and then I'll do that. Okay, and then I'll do that. Thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, as you head out, etc., to I have no idea what you're going to do, you happen to see what appears to be an older gentleman dressed in uh, some finer clothing, a young, a young boy kind of next to him, and then two, a couple of guards. Essentially, there's like four guards. Oh no! Uh, you notice that the girl okay. kind of makes Don't moon eyes at him. The guards. Uh, but she doesn't really say anything. He actually just walks straight up to her and begins chatting with her, and you can tell that she's like she's starting to blush behind the ears. She's smitten by him. She's smitten by him. Something like that. Uh, you also notice that from his garb, mm-hmm. he appears to be of nobility. Did we need him? We no. did we need him? You haven't met any, either of these two. Okay. Good. Good. Anyway, so they head towards this larger <laughs> tent, and then uh, that's basically all you see after a few minutes. All right. All right. So anyway, what are you doing now? Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna look for some potions, or somebody who knows potions. And alchemy, and talk to them about alchemy because I do have some alchemy. Oh, you have that as a skill. <laughs> How many times can you say alchemy? Yep, nice. I do. <laughs> Alrighty. So I'm talking okay, to the hunters. Okay, so they start showing you their bows. They're kind of standard equipment that you've seen before. Um, but uh, what mm-hmm. are you kind of? I mean, you notice I didn't tell Tyson anything about that bow. There you go. <laughs> so, <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> that. Alrighty, so okay. anyway, you're talking to them. They're showing you their wares. Some of the bows are fairly well built. Uh, however, they don't really have anything like mm-hmm. super much improved over yours. So, it's well, worthless. I mean, they do have a, a bow that appears to be mm. of an elven design, but that's about it. They've only got the one. How much is that elven bow worth? So that elven bow is going to be about a thousand gold or silver. (sighs) And what's its rarity? And what's its rarity? It's um, it's a seven. So, very rare. 
six. How much does a six cost? They don't have anything of that design. I know. I know. Uh, you would asking. have to craft it. Uh, that in and of itself is going to be pretty, pretty pricey. Again, I'm asking. How Again, I'm asking. How much do the sixes cost? Uh, to do, do, do. One moment. He's pondering right now. He's no, pondering actually, right now, actually looking, looking up in the air. <laughs> no, the, 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 the bow, the hunter is <laughs> thinking. Yeah. Calculating in his mind. Calculating in his mind. <laughs> anyway, while you were flicking up, I asked... Anyway, while you were flicking up, I asked... You kind of broke up there, boss. While you're looking it up, I asked the... While you're looking it up, I asked the uh, hunters... How many people have actually looked Very at few, that, though? unfortunately. It's a fairly pricey item. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, uh... How long is have they have it, had it? Uh, we've had it for roughly six months now. Well, I think you're charging. Well, I think you're charging a little too much there. <laughs> have you never shot an elven bow before? Of course, I have. of course I have. I'm an elf. What do you expect? Can you see my ears? Apparently you haven't shot anything noteworthy. Ow. Burn. Ow. Burn. He just got you. He just shot you. He just shot you. <laughs> 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 oh, yes, I know that. This bow shoots a lot cleaner than that one. This bow has served me well. This, this bow has served me well. This yeah. bow is what killed the demon bear. Congratulations. Not a demon! <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> it's going to be a running joke with us. Oh, yes, it will. <laughs> So, are you interested or not? And I'm asking you. And I'm asking you. <laughs> I'm not sure the sixes work. I'm honestly curious. I'm honestly All curious. Right, so, a, a fairly decent quality longbow is going to run you roughly 500 silver. Something just below this elvish bow. The elvish bow uses a kind of wood that is much lighter than other wood. So it's much mm -hmm. costlier to make because that wood isn't readily available and the elves don't necessarily cut these trees yeah. down to make it. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I had 500 silver. I really wish I had 500 <laughs> silver. <laughs> Is that a one talent yep. that I have? Know somebody? It reduces the rarity level that of items. It makes it easier to find it. Ultimately, it doesn't make it cheaper, it just makes mm. it easier to find. What? Yeah. What? Oh, it it does. says it makes it cheaper. Oh, well, it says it, it makes, makes it cheaper. cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> Normally, rarity does oh. not make anything cheaper, it just makes it easier to find. Well, yeah. And but, uh, anyway, yeah. they don't have a rarity six bow. This elvish long bow is uh, about it as far as their bows are concerned. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I am. <clears throat> well, I am definitely interested, but I still think they're asking way too well, much. Well, you can always it. try and haggle. There is that as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. What would a uh, what would what skill check would that be? Mm -hmm. So the difficulty itself is going to be a. Uh, let's see here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -dum. Let's see. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Bam. Bam. All right, so it's good. It would be one red and two purple Great. to now... try and lower the price. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. You got this, Landon. And uh, how much would it lower it by? Uh, that is un that is hard to tell unless you roll to try. Because I've got 39 silver. No, I have 49 silver. Well, you still couldn't afford it. Hey, you might as well give it a shot, yeah. dude. See what happens. Come on, Landon. You got this. All right. I tell him. I'll tell you what, I'll give you everything I have. Okay, so go ahead and roll the negotiation check. I'm going to add a setback to that because I'm assuming you're kind of showing what you have to an extent. Oh, shush. <laughs> oh, shush. Yeah. Does anybody mind if I use a story point? Does anybody mind if I use a story point? Oh, go ahead. Okay. All right, so that is two to three now. All right, so it's a uh, yellow, green, red, red purple, purple. Or red, red, purple. Red, purple. Red, red, purple. Red, purple. Three, two, two, red, three dice, three different. Two reds, reds one purple. Challenge die, but two of them are upgraded to reds. Okay. Okay. Good try, though. <laughs> you got this. You can do it. <laughs> they kind of look you up nope. and down, and they're like, eh, "I don't think you have enough, lad, to buy this bow." Fair enough. So do they have any other bows that are... So improvement towards the one I have? No. Anything that'd be an improvement over a standard bow is going to be somewhat pricier because you're going to have to to improve it. You're going to have to... Ta it's going to take some work. Yeah. Your best bet if you want yeah. a better bow is to either A, go to where it's more common, or B, to uh, have somebody build it for you. Yeah. Or build it yourself. You can do that. All right. Too. I say. I just say. Well, yeah. I just say. Well, can't blame me for all. trying. <laughs> if I come into money soon, well, I might be back. To find us. Yep. Speaking of which, yep. Speaking of which how do I enter the dragon? Uh, are you going to be one of the contenders for the shoot? Probably. Good to, Probably. Good to meet the competition, and he shakes your hand. Uh, oh, it's, it's <laughs> so it's to enter you. the competition, you'll want to go to the Lord's Tent. Uh, and he points the direction it's over there. There's going to okay. be a billboard out front, as well as a gentleman to take down your name. I'm assuming you can't read. Hey, hey. Most hey. people can't read. Hey, <laughs> hey, I can read. Hey, okay. I can read. So you go up to the billboard. You see the guy there sitting at like this little wooden table. Um, mm -hmm. and he's like, uh, what events would you like to join, lad? And he shows you the list. Uh, if you need me to repeat them, let me tell you. All right, so you have things? maple dancing, yeah. silver ball hurling, cheese rolling, wrestling, or dragon shooting, or a combination. Let me do the cheese rolling and the dragon shooting. Let me do the cheese rolling and the All dragon right. shooting. He puts your name down on the sheet of paper. And then uh, mm -hmm. he says, "I will add it to the roster." And I also ask him, "Hey, and I also ask him, hey do you mind if I practice with one of the bows that uh, will be provided?" Unfortunately, we don't allow any practicing at all because it uh, makes it much more fun when the competitors do not know the intricacies of the bows. Dang it! Though, if you'd like, I can <clears throat> allow you to inspect the arrows. I would like to do that. I would right, like to so do that. While you're doing that, uh, go ahead and give me a knowledge. Uh, uh, well, I'll either let you give me a ranged check because it's going to be based off your knowledge of arrows, or a strictly knowledge check. Mm -hmm. One second. One second. Ranged agility. And uh, all right, so Tyson, you are. They, after a brief kind of like overlook and a healer that fixes your damaged mm -hmm. groin, uh, they basically allow you to leave. Uh, what would you like to do now? Is there going to be... Uh, Is there going to be uh, what other events are in the so arena? So the major events that you'll see in the arena are going to be the silver ball hurling and then a wrestling contest that will be coming up. Uh, outside of that, they've still got a little okay, bit of jousting so that they're doing and some more of the melee fighting. 
Can I enter in the jousting? Uh, you can try. Unfortunately, due to your smaller stature, they're not going to be as compelled to let you enter. Hold up. I'm going okay. to go speak to them. So you go up to the so, jousting. So uh, how difficult was? It's going to be the, an average uh, check. You're fairly check? used to these ar to your arrows. Okay, so purple, purple. Actually, make okay, it an so easy purple, purple. one purple. Right. I am going to spend a story point though to make it a red. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, you're not sure what they did to the arrow. Uh, what would you like your two advantages to be? <laughs> Poor thing. I managed to pickpocket one of the arrows. Uh, I'm going to give you a boost to trying to pickpocket an arrow. I'm not going to let you just pickpocket an arrow. Alright, so go ahead and roll me a skullduggery check. This time it's going to be an average. I'm going to spend another story point to increase the difficulty by one. So one red, one purple. <laughs> If you would That's like if to you it. want to do it. Yellow, red, purple. Right? Yellow, red, yep. purple. Red? And a B for blue. And a B for blue. Okay, don't forget your boost. Right. Oh, yeah. You've got the two advantages. Okay. Unfortunately, you're unable to pickpocket the arrow because the attendee is watching them like a hawk. Apparently, they're used to people trying to cheat. <laughs> So, what would you like your advantages to be this knowledge. time? <laughs> He's momentarily distracted by somebody calling his name or something. Okay, so you're going to try something. it again then? Yeah. Alright, roll the exact same yes. roll. <laughs> this will be the last roll you get. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Yellow, yellow, blue, red, purple, right? Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Come on! Come on. <laughs> that's how I felt the very first session. That's all I did the first session. All right, so after yeah, it is. very enthusiastically trying to pocket this arrow, um, <laughs> you're just like, you know what, screw this. <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right, so Tyson, you walk up to the organizer for the ev jousting event. Uh, he looks at you and he's like, uh, "Here to make or here to uh, enjoy the jousting." Actually, I'm here to enter my champion into the champion oh, into the jousting. Oh, enter your champion. My champion is Pause. Yep. <clears throat> Pause one moment. Wait, wait, I just want to look up a cool name. Wait, is this going to be your cool uh, pet, quote-unquote? Sure. Sure. Well, let's see here. I'm going to look at night name generators off the fantasy website. Let's go to, like, Don names. John and go to the fantasy names. That's what I use. His name, His name is... <laughs> I don't like none of these. Let's try this again. While you're looking it up, let me go to Christina real quick. Find a good one, and then I'll come back to you. Christina, what are you doing? I'm looking at the potions and talking to the apothecary, the uh, the potion lady, and talking about potions and seeing how much they're they are, and you know. Okay, so they've got a, a range of potions. The most common one they have is a. Uh, and I say common, but it's not the most common. Uh, as far as actual potions go, is a health elixir and a stamina elixir. Those two okay. are the okay. common potions. Unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot of those. Uh, what you're finding more of are like healing herbs and some of that stuff. Mm, I can take those. Mm, I can take those. Okay. Turn them into potions. <coughs> Alright, so you're wanting to buy herbs and stuff to actually craft the potions then? Yep. Yep. Okay. So. Okay, so what kind of potion are you wanting? 
because you've got a several to choose from. You've got Acid Flask, Bottled Courage, Health Elixir, Immunity Elixir, Invisibility Potion, Poison, Power Potion, Protective Tonic, uh, Health just Elixir. Just some health Okay, yeah, so first. that is going to cost... How many of them do you want to make, I should ask, as well? Uh, three. Three health uh, three. Okay. Right now. So, yeah. that will cost you... Hey, What's up, Dylan. boss? So, Hi, Dylan. I got stung by a yellow Ow. jacket a few minutes ago. Ow! You I should be more house. careful of that. Ow! I am absolutely fucking fu Well, I felt something brush my elbow, and I thought it was the cat. <laughs> it's one hell of a big beat. All right, so, Christina, it's going to cost you 38 silver. All right. All right. I got it. But yeah, no, I just I figured I'd come in here and, like, I, I am absolutely fucking ah. livid right now. Because I have a sting on the side of my goddamn elbow that hurts. And I have no idea where the nest is, because I went outside and I looked, and I didn't see any little bastards buzzing around. Must have been a wanderer. Could be, but that's the second well, I mean, one in five days. Uh, then there's a nest. a nest. If it's the second one, you'll have to see a lot more than just two before I'd say there's a nest. True. I would say if you see them True. again. No. I mean, that's the second one in my house in five days. I know, I'm saying if you see days. more outside or in the house over just in five days... That's where I would assume that there's a nest, because those might just be wanderers from, like, next door or something like that. I really hope they're just fucking wanderers. I really hope they're just fucking wanderers, because what I'm thinking right now is there's a nest under my that fucking crawl space. Oh, that would suck. Well, just keep your eyes peeled. I'm sure if they are there, you'll find more of them pretty quickly. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. anyway right. I'm popping off. Y'all have fun All with right. game. Take care. Later. All right, so, Christina... Or Tyson, sorry. You did you find a name you liked? Yes. Alrighty. Yes. His name is his name is Krynok, the Sentinel of Louisiana. Okay. And uh, where is this uh, champion? He is kind of getting ready. Would you like me to go get him? I came to sign I him up. I will have to see the like competitor. Yes. And I'll be back in just a moment. Let me go. Alrighty. And get him. So I'll wander, I'll wander off, and then I'm going to use um, the summon. <laughs> Alright, so you're going to summon so, an ally? So yeah, summon an ally. So he's going to be an ally, so he doesn't attack me automatically. That's an extra purple. I'm going to summon him oh, a horse, and then... Um, the, uh, the complicated thing is uh, there's one on there. I think my son walked off from my phone. There's a complicated one on there where, you know, they have weapons. He has weapons and all that. He has clothes, so forth. Huh. And the horse, of course, the horse, of course, has. So I'm going to summon an additional one for the horse. And then the, the intricate thing is going to be that he, he has weapons and stuff. And it'll be another purple for the horse to have it. And then he'll be my allies. It should be five purple. <laughs> okay, so let's see. So wow. you need the guy with the horse. I'm not going to have you roll for the clothes, because I'm assuming they come with clothing, at least. Uh, weapon. I'd if you want the weapons and armor, I will count that as a plus. So, so far you're sitting at two. Additional die, three, yep. Three, I because know. the horse so is three the purples. creature. And... Mm -hmm. um, Plus an, that make tackle it an ally, for the horse, because so I, I equip him and the horse. I have to equip the horse and him. So uh, the horse normally, each, so I would say, five. would have at least the saddle. If you want barding, then yes. But it's going to have, well, it's the stuff they use uh, for the jousting. The horses normally don't have a whole hell of a lot in the way of that stuff. Generally, it'd be the guy in the okay. back. Well, then he, the horse definitely would not have the barding. But you know what? I'll summon the barding because I can take it off and put it back on when he needs it. Okay. Well, that is five purples then. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to use my paragon okay. of power on this. And then I'm also going to use my intellect ability. Okay. <laughs> the stuff that you can only use so, once a session. I will now rule. <laughs> 
Yes, that is indeed right, and it is worth <laughs> every moment of All this. All right, let's see you summon your ally. Oh, my God! Oh, Holy my God! God. <laughs> <laughs> so, I will... I will. I can remove a purple because that's what my paragon is. So I remove two of those uh, threats. So I end up with two successes and two advantages. Okay. So what would you like your two advantages to be? My two advantages. My two advantages is. I mean, it is. You have yes. the picture I sent you, right? Immaculate detail. I mean, stunningly, I mean, this guy is built like a hoss. Okay. So I summon, like, I summon, <clears throat> because, you know, I play Warhammer. I summon mm -hmm. a Lord Tzinch demon. <laughs> okay, so, so at least armored. You want this guy specifically that you send a picture. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. A Lord Tzinch okay, demon. Okay, you didn't like, get enough to actually summon him that I am summoning? specifically. So, but I what? summoning a demon is kind of bad. Well, there's news. just purple dice. <laughs> is what I'm trying to hit. Well, yeah, I don't summon a demon, but he's in that armor. Okay. I mean, I summon like a knight from, uh, like an authentic knight from back in the day that can All right, beat some. So you've got a knight here that is proficient that just kind of winks into existence, <laughs> essentially. He's very proficient at jousting, specifically. Okay. So yes. anyway, I'm assuming you accompany him back to where the uh, gentleman was. Yep. He looks yep. him up and down. He's like, this is your champion. He is indeed with me. He is indeed with me. Uh, mm -hmm. Sir, you are being sponsored by this gentleman here. The knight n nods his head. The horse paws at the ground. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'll just need your oh, entry you. fee because there is a prize at the end if you can make it. Sure. So for sure. your entry fee, you're looking at uh, 20, silver. I 20 silver. I hand him 20 Thank silver. God. <laughs> Thank God I pickpocketed those guys. Yeah, no kidding, right? I can't believe you succeeded on that roll. <laughs> <laughs> look at the roll that I just did. This is our luck. I should have rolled a lot better, to be honest. I, sh I should have fucking destroyed that. All right, so uh, <laughs> your guy is there to joust for you. Yes, indeed, he is. Uh, yes, indeed, as you he guys, is. <laughs> and at this point, it's getting around to lunchtime. They provide free food unless you would like more specific stuff. It, the meal itself isn't, like, super amazing. But if you do want to splurge a little bit to get food, better food you can. Okay. Food is food. Okay. Right. Food is food. Yeah, that's what I said. Alrighty. So, let's see how long your conjuration is supposed to last. It never says. I've talked to you about this before because I want I just to... like to look. No, no, you're I'll fine. roll again with a red. Story wise, it's, it's perfectly fine. I'd rather him stay there for a little while anyway. I just like to make sure I'm not messing up on the rule. Alright, so. Uh, you guys start to hear some excitement way over where you guys are at, both of you, uh, Landon and Christina. Apparently a new contestant has come to enter the joust that no one has ever seen before, and he looks like he might be able to kick some ass. Oh, jeez. So... <laughs> I would have nothing to do with this guy. I'm, I'm going to bet on the new <laughs> contestant. All righty. I'm not going to bet. I'm just seeing what's the, uh, going on. Furore channel. So. Oh, okay. Alrighty. That's what his knight oh. looks like. Or his contestant. Oh. Alrighty. So it takes a little bit of time before it's that guy's turn. Uh, you know, as he, you guys are waiting, you can see him checking his gear and his horse and all of this stuff. Uh, and seems pretty well pleased with his equipment. All right. Do I see where Tyson is at, uh, Tyson, is at all? Where are you standing? 
Where are all the other uh, rich people? The other wealthy nobility. Oh, shit, I forgot. All right, so you see some special seating over here in this little orange pavilion where you see uh, a couple and basically two nobles. They apparently have come down specifically because they've been hearing the same rumors everyone else has. I'm going to sit over here. I'm going to sit over here uh, and boast loudly. Ah, uh, my champion is about to come on the field. I hope he does the, uh, well. Again, I place a How large a bet on, on the newcomer. 20 silver. 20, go 20 silver. I, know, right? I gotta stop saying gold. If you say gold, yeah. I don't know you mean silver. Silver is the only currency in this world. I know. <laughs> I know. All right, so 20, 20 amount. on the night. All right. 20. So the, yes. uh, one of the nobles, the younger one, kind of leans over. Oh, so he's your champion then. He looks he very deep. ferocious, but I wonder how he's going to handle some of our uh, more accomplished riders and lancers. I'm not sure. That's why he's here. I'm not sure. That's why he's here, and I sponsored him on so that I we can truly engage his. You're trying to <laughs> sniff your mic again, there, Landon. <laughs> it must, because no, he good. just inhaled like really hard. <laughs> Alrighty. So Tyson, I need you to roll me an opposed check. Uh, it's going to be a uh -oh. melee heavy. So this guy that you have has two yellow and a green. It's going to be against two purples. Man, if I fucking roll this roll, you got this. You got this. I'm betting on you. Since I'm betting on you. No, your guy literally breaks his lance and unseats him in the first go round. Good. Is what that's telling me. Good. So he wins the Lord. first round. Just I do instantly. A I, do a I do I do a slow clap. Well, he is he at least knows Hooray, his well way done. around the lance. Now let's see him fight against somebody much more accomplished. Go ahead and give me another roll. No, not yet. Do you I get my to, money? Uh, wait till the end here. Cuz he has to well, I mean, are you making what? it for just one guy? Because if you're trying to do it for 20, no. 20 coin, they're probably going to have you go through like three or four fights. Yeah. All right, so yeah. give me the yeah. same roll, but this time they're with not... one of the purples being a red. Uh, and he unseats him the same way. <laughs> Holy cow, All right, third guy comes up. He's looking a lot oh. more accomplished. Go ahead and give me... The same roll, but this time with a black <laughs> instead. Or with a black and a red, like that. So red, purple, black. Wait, can my triumph be a boost sure, he's on a for roll. this Why roll? Not? He's confident. He's confident. <laughs> red, purple, SP. All right, so this foe, he does not dispatch quite as handily. So the next foe comes up. Go ahead and give me a similar roll, but this time without the black. I want it red, red. Mm. Ooh. Okay. Jeez. Okay, so what's his decision? What really bad thing happened to your champion? He breaks his lance. He breaks that's his part of lance. the contest. You're, if you break your lance, that's a good thing. Oh. Yes, oh. that's a point. Um, oh, okay. Um, falls off the stick. Falls off the stick. No. I know. I know. The horse got hurt, so, so it has gonna a, have um, a. He's going to have what, a uh, threat left? against him, or a couple of threats against him next time. Well, he hurts. Well, in between. Well, he hurts. Well, in between rounds, can't you, you know, see a doctor, or whatever else? I'm saying that the, the yeah. horse is. So lame. you're going to have him ride a like a spare horse or something. No, not necessarily. The, the horse no, not necessarily. The, the horse becomes lame, and I, I, I mean the the contest. I mean, usually you have a, a few right. minutes or something yeah. between so rounds, right? His horse becomes lame, and what does that entail after that? Because if his horse is lame, he can't I'm gonna go find it Christina. anymore. See if she oh, can heal you want the him horse. to use magic to heal it. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to see if I'm finding Christina to heal the horse. Uh, go ahead and roll me a uh, streetwise check to see if you can find Christina. Let's see. So during this, it would be a heart check. No, she's on the other end of the me. field from you, boss. All right, well then, 
All right, well then. All over here. What bad thing do you that's think should happen, Nick? I, I don't know. That's why I'm asking I'm just, you. Find me. Because I mean, a I lame know. horse is fine. There's All that no. means for me is either a you're going to have a spare horse now that he's going to have to ride, which adds a setback to it, or he's trying to ride his lame horse, which means right. another two setback because of a lame horse. That's what it's telling me. Right. Um, and then all I'm going to do is upgrade the check will again think, as well. I will get. I'll see about getting him a spare, but uh, first I'm going to see if I can find okay. Christina. So go ahead and give me a hard uh, streetwise check with one setback. What? One second, guys. What? That sounds good. Whatever you know, I'll eat whatever you cook. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Food is food. Cook is good. Don't cook shit. Cook. Uh, cook what you're gonna cook. <laughs> she heard what I said. I'm gonna try. Cook shit. All right. Cook shit anyway, for him. so Please. go ahead and give me a Dude. hard with one setback <laughs> check to find Christina. All right. Actually, make that two. Street yes, wise? two, because you're having to do this fairly quickly. All right. Three for another roll. Oh my god. Yeah, unfortunately, you are unable to find her. Hey, it's not bad. You know what? You know what? If I still had my damn ability, I could have taken one of those purples out. Mm -hmm. And I would have had a success. <laughs> so he'll have to use the spare. Can I notice that the uh, horse was injured? or that the horse was injured. Everybody noticed it was injured. You're all watching this. When he gets the spares, I'll go check his house. When he gets the spares, I'll go check his house. Okay. Horse out. So go ahead and uh, I guess roll the conjure for the horse now. <laughs> Talk to me or Tyson. Talk to me or Tyson. Oh, okay. Oh, I have to conjure Unless you another want to horse try and for him. Talk to somebody into letting him borrow your the a horse. <laughs> No, uh, I'll conjure. What's the difficulty? It's just going to be too with the purple, setback right? For time constraint. Okay. Two purple with a setback. Okay. All right. Jesus. <laughs> you get an Jesus. charger. <laughs> um, it's a better horse than you had the first. The replacement, my triumph is the replacement mm -hmm. horse. It's his spare horse that he rides all the time back yeah, where he's and from. It's, it's a good quality horse. It's of the same level or better than his other horse. All right. There you go. Yeah, this is how we roll. Okay. I can't die roll. Right, so like you come up to the fourth fight. <laughs> yeah, this is the guy right below the champion. Apparently. So go ahead and roll your two yellows, one, uh, one green, two reds, one purple. You're getting God, harder man. and harder fights. What's the setback for? I said I wanted a really good fight. That's why I gave you two yellows and a green. <laughs> okay, so tell me oh. what happens. Yeah. Um, he dies. Okay, and the triumph? I don't know what happens, man. He, he loses, but the triumph of is... Uh, he does it okay. gracefully, as in, it looks almost like he just gives up because he's tired of the competition. Alrighty, so your champion goes out and he does his joust again. Uh, at the end of it, the crowd be is chanting for him. Uh, I have no idea what the, what's the name of the knight again? Name is. Correct. 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 Sounds All like right, so <laughs> yeah, uh, as far as the fight goes, you do get your 20 silver back. Unfortunately, because he didn't get through all four <sighs> fights and get up to the champion, the bet just comes off as a draw, essentially, for you both. Okay. I'll add that into his okay. track that we don't lose money. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so anyway, the jousting comes down to the last two. Uh, the champion himself handles the challenger, which is the previous guy. Hold on, Just... hold on, hold on. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'd like to put ten silver on okay. the challenger. Well, now you're making me roll it. No. So, 
Let's see. Yes. <laughs> so the good dice will be the challenger. The other dice will be the other guy. Let's see. Nope, he lost. You lose two, 10 silver. No. 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 That's not a success it's or a failure. a failure. It's a draw. You have it's to actually success. get a success for it to be what? successful. Everything else is oh. a failure. I thought you had to get a... I had to get this... Um, dang, failure dice to fail. dang failure dice to fail. Um, What's the point of a failure dice? What's the point of a failure dice? Just to cancel out the successes. And tell a story, essentially. Uh. Oh, I thought you actually had a roll oh, one. You just if you come up blank, the task was unsuccessful. No, you know what? In this case, I will say it was oh, a draw. Okay. Though the points go towards the champion because of the strain there. So it's more like a two to a three. Essentially, in terms of score. So while ultimately the champion still reigns supreme, he wins on a technicality. Because I like mm -hmm. that better. Yeah, so it was close. So it was close. So you. You still get your 10 silver back, but that's about it. Do I gain silver back for how many guys you Yeah, so you get basically uh, 15 silver for coming in third place. Not bad. Hmm. Not bad. No, it was, it was 20 to get in. It was horrible. Sorry, hold on. Oh. I forgot it was 20. True. Uh, you're actually going to get um, 25. Not bad. Oh. Not bad. There you go. I'm not glad bad, you said bad. that that was 20, because I had completely forgotten it was 20 to get in. <laughs> Alright, so lunch is then served. Uh, everybody eats, and uh, you can hear the small talk of the challenger that almost made it up to second and possibly even first place on his first go-round for his showing t show time. Uh, your companion that you were kind of talking to and bragging about introduces himself as Lord... Raffin Ward. He's the son of the Duke that controls the castle. Uh, ah, uh, yes, I met the Duke earlier t yesterday. Hmm, my father didn't mention meeting a gnome yesterday. No, I didn't meet him. Personally. No, I didn't meet him personally, but I was the one that dragged the bear. Good bit of uh, hunting there. Me and my companion killed. Me and my companions hmm. ended up killing. You the normally bear. go hunting for demon bear. But yes, on occasions we do the tasks of that nature for the locals to help people out in need. Uh, hmm. Well, I'm always looking for accomplished hunters and the like. Uh, perhaps next time I go, I will invite you, uh, Mr. Cogsprocket, Mr. Cogsprocket. Right. Go ahead Sprocket. and make a note somewhere on your sheet, Tyson, that you now have a contact out of uh, Raffin Ward. What's his name again? Uh, his name I'll put again? it on his, his token. We'll, you'll have it on his token and you'll be able to see it. Alright, and what was the thing about him? He is the Duke's... Him? He's a contact for you now. Oh. Oh. Hey. Which one of you two is, relatively, you two is relatively well knowledge in... Magic talismans. Wouldn't be me. Probably be him. Okay. Because I've got one. And I need you to figure out what it is. Huh? He says he's got something to steal, is what I heard. What is this? <laughs> you have a magic talisman? Yes. I found it on the corpses in the river before we fought the bear. Corpses. Remember this? <laughs> and All right. We didn't look in the river for the corpses. We didn't look in the river for the corpses. <laughs> so what I need not. you to make, Tyson, is a knowledge magic or a divine. Knowledge no, lore? No, divine. It's either a divine knowledge check lore? or a knowledge lore. Or knowledge magic. Well, lore. Yeah, lore. Lore. That's Thank knowledge you. lore. So lore or divine. Uh, it's going thing? to be a average. Okay. Dang it, Tyson! Dang it, so Tyson! you know it as a holy icon. Uh, essentially, for whatever reason, a god 
slash goddess comes to your lips. Uh, it is the goddess Libhar, uh, the god of no- or the goddess of knowledge. The holy symbol itself is an owl. Hmm. Huh. My triumph is I know exactly what it does. Okay, so it for in-game, in-game terms, essentially when one uses this to cast divine-only magic, you can decrease the difficulty once. It's yours. It's yours. I expect 10 silver. No, well, I expect 10 <laughs> silver. Perfect. Also, in silver. addition to that, too, Thank you. when your character casts a healing spell, the number of wounds healed increases by 2. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. I'm glad that we picked that up. <laughs> I'm glad that we picked that up from a bloody corpse. Apparently it didn't help the last owner, though. Nope. Nope. He didn't roll that's like true. this guy. <laughs> that is very true. What's the, what's the priest's uh, name The again? goddess's name is Liebhar. L-E-A-B-H-A-R. And it removes one difficulty from, divine from healing. only effects. Essentially, if you go to page 98 of the PDF, so a healer. or not the PDF, but of the book, it'll give you all of that down at the very bottom of the holy icon implement. Okay. Perfect. Sweet. Alrighty. Is it the end of this? Yes, it is the end cool? of this. Wait, why do you need to roll cool? I used four strength. I used Shouldn't four strength. Shouldn't have been off of your character. Oh, wait. Okay. Right. Yeah. Well, you didn't right. get any strain back. Apparently, the excitement around you is not allowing you time to rest and recuperate. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Okay. Fair enough. I find Christina and them, and I have. Knock, unless he's disappeared yet. Me. <clears throat> Alrighty, so as you guys are doing that, your champion obviously follows you as you go. Um, after a, a little bit of time, you got after you guys eat, etc. The uh, Duke himself kind of comes out onto the field where his where he kind of calls out to everyone. The afternoon's events will begin. If you have signed up for it or would like to sign up for an event, now is the time. I'm in the cheese roll and the dragon, I'm in the cheese roll and the dragon shoot. Good luck. I want hey, a da- cheese roll. He's ready for that cheese yeah. roll. <laughs> Good luck on that. All right. Hey, yes. so, do either of you two, Christina and Tyson, want to sign up for any of the events? No. So What's you the, have no. a couple. You have maple dancing, silver ball hurling, Cheese rolling. Although the maple, I'll do the okay. maple dancing. Okay, Might so as well you have, have maple, some fun. silver ball hurling, cheese roll, wrestling, and then a dragon shoot. Oh, dude, I'm doing the wrestling. Oh, okay. dude, I'm doing the wrestling. Are you doing it, or are you going to have your champion try to do it? Um, um, your champion do it. Have your champion do it. Okay. I'll have my champion do it. Wait, hold up. Wait, hold up. <clears throat> yeah, go ahead. I'll do the yeah, go ahead. Alright, so the, the first champion, event to come up is first. Maple Dancing. Alright, so Christina, I need you to make me a check okay. to either wow the crowd or dance with the locals. So that means I either need a coordination check or a charm check. Where is charm? Where is charm? Look for the social okay. skills. Okay. Okay. I have fun. So okay. I have okay, fun. Okay, that'll so be a fun. hard challenge. Right, so is three purples. I'm going to have to reset my internet. It is really bad right now. Yeah. So I'll be back. Yeah, yeah. So I'll be back. Yeah, I trip right. and fall. So you trip and fall as you're winding the ribbon around. Luckily, the uh, girl that was dancing with you, the little girl, uh, she's a fairly decent dancer, so she somewhat elegantly picks you back up so that you can continue dancing. All right, so go ahead and give me the either a coordination check or a charm check again. Uh, this time, however, you're going to add two setbacks to it. 
Uh, which are you doing, charm or so? Uh, charm is yellow and two green. So. So go ahead and roll that. Add the. So just it, roll the same thing, but with two blacks now. So purple and black. Yep. Purple and black. Hi, hi, I definitely, oh, definitely fall so Yeah, unfortunately ass. this. <laughs> unfortunately, this dance is a little more uh, ex <laughs> exhausting than you expected. Uh, you take a strain from the dancing. All right, Tyson took all the good rolls. All right, all okay. good rolls. All right so the dance starts to come to a close as you guys go go around the maypole. Go ahead and give me the exact same check this time with three setbacks. Uh, you can use a story point too, Christina. I recommend it at this point. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna use. I didn't realize we had any. No, it's four to one. So three to two now. If you just ask me if it's before you roll, and I'll let you know what they're, we're at. That's fine. Okay. Yep. That's fine. I just assumed, and I know right, I shouldn't and assume. So yellow, two yellow, two yellow. Three purples, and two black, or three blacks. <laughs> All right. So describe what happens, Christina. Um... um the crowd is wowed by the final yeah, piece of my dance. You see them clapping, the essentially, as you get to the end. Yeah. Uh, the crowd, they they seem sympathetic, clapping at first, but they, as you kind of go, and the other that's what uh, does her thing. Uh, luckily, too, as you're dancing, the when the ribbon begins to tangle in an unexpected way, you're able to somewhat grace, well, pretty gracefully, assist your partner this time in dancing, which is very, very kindly looked upon. Mm -hmm. uh, however, you do take another step. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> so, that brings us into the cheese rolling. So, what I need you to do is either roll me an athletics <laughs> or a coordination check. One second, let me check. One second, let me check. Be right back. Yep. Be right back. Athletics yep. or coordination? Okay. okay. It, what so check is it? For Hard? The rolling, which one are you going with? Athletics or coordination? Coordination. Yeah, coordination is going to be an average check. I'm going to spend a story point to increase it to a okay. red, though. So one red, I one purple. One as well. okay. I will spend one as well. Yellow. Green, yep. red, purple. Okay, so something really good happens, and I mean really good. What would you like that really good thing to be? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, as the cheese is rolling down the hill, I touch it, it bounces, hits the uh, dragon in the face, the dragon hasn't been, and the, the dragon comes back hasn't to me, been and I catch it. Okay, so it hits the box that the dragon's in and bounces back at you. Go ahead and give me another uh, coordination That'll check. Work. That'll work. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Okay, so what's the difficulty? Uh, the difficulty is going to be average, so two purple. Okay. Yeah, you you catch it. What uh, two minor? What either one minor bad thing or two minor bad things happen to you? Mm. Mm. Well, sprang. well, I sprang my pinky. <laughs> Your pinky <laughs> on my left hand. That's kind of yeah, for an archer. That's, that's very really... specific. So. <laughs> Alrighty, so you've sprained your hand a little bit from this cheese as it bounces back and, like, crunches into your finger. Yeah. Alright, you do, however, yeah. now have a cheese. <laughs> Yay! So go ahead and put Yay. a cheese wheel in your inventory somewhere. Congratulations. Congratulations. And then I would like to go to Christina mm -hmm. and see if she can heal my injured pinky. I can roll a medicine check to see uh, if that works. Or you can do magic. I think, uh, I think uh, heal, you can use it as a... Uh... I'll try. Yeah, I'll heal, try. you can use it, so... Thank you. Let's see here. Right. It's going to be one purple. Oh, are you sure? Oh, are you sure? 
All right, yeah, you're 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 here. Your thing is. <laughs> I'd say that's worthy of it being better than yeah, it ever has whatever been. Whatever the childhood pain was, it's now gone. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> and I'd like to use that as a boost whenever I face the dragon. Ah, fine. But still, thank you. Alrighty, so we it get into did. the dragon shoot. So you're lined up with the other contestants, and no. they have you bring out your weapons, and they tell you to shoot at this target. That's there. So go ahead and make a ranged, okay. an average ranged uh, check. One second. Let's... One second. Let's... Agility... Uh, there it is. I'd like to use a story point. I'd like to use a story point. Alrighty. Wait, not yet. Never mind. It's too early. It's okay. too early. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so your shooting is fairly decent. Uh, however, due to the recent healing and the fact that you're no longer wielding your uh, childhood injury, uh, it throws you off a little mm -hmm. bit. You take two string. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're going to take a short break. Fine. So go to the bathroom, get something to eat, whatever you guys got to do. Oh, short break? Short break. Short break? Should have waited a okay. couple minutes. Should have waited a couple minutes. That's fine. Okay. Right. All right. I'll let you know we gotta go to the I'm bathroom, so. Tyson is gonna get hot. What do you mean? Sunday is gonna be 101. You mean today? Next Sunday. Oh, next Sunday. What about tomorrow? Uh, it's gonna be 95. Where are you guys at? Louisiana? Ooh. That's gonna be hot. <laughs> I'll be back. Mm hmm. Yeah, but it's that's like that all every summer. It gets to that hot every summer. Wow. Mm hmm. Welcome back. Yep. No, I said I'm back. Gosh, my day. Christina, wait till uh, Nick posts the sand. This give me some good shit. Mm hmm.
I'm back. Everybody here? Okay. Tyson's AFK. He went to bother his son. He went to bother his son. Right. Yeah, but it's just landing. Yeah, but it's just landing, doing the, the other, so you can continue. That's true. All right, so anyway, Landon, we get up to the dragon shoot. <laughs> yep. One second. <laughs> You're supposed to be done. Come on now. All right. I'm good. All right. So they have you shoot at the target. Uh, after they have you guys shoot at the target, mm -hmm. you notice some of them, like they start passing out bows, etc., and some of the bows look like a little more worn or just other things to make it more difficult to shoot or passed out. Uh, however, you and a few others do not get any, like, necessarily bad bows. Good. Good. I would like to try out, uh, try pulling back on the bow to guesstimate its draw weight and... You test the strength of the bow. All right, go Basically, ahead and yes. give me a, uh ranged check essentially I'm here welcome back hello what's the difficulty if there is any or an easy check okay oh, okay it's good it's very good all right 
So they gave you a pretty decent bow. Alrighty, so they start giving mm -hmm. out the rules. Essentially, the first one to bring the dragon down will receive a prize. Uh, mm -hmm. Does it say what the prize is? No, they really don't say what it is. Um, okay. They say that the children will get a head start on the adults, just for short legs and some of that. Fair. Uh, they also give you guys your quiver of arrows. They explain that the dragon will not leave the fairgrounds, mm -hmm. uh, but it could potentially okay. hide and be like in the crowd, etc. Uh. Um, Tyson's wedding all over again. <laughs> 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 Tyson should understand that reference. <laughs> I don't. Really? No, I didn't. I didn't really hear you. Oh, I said it's Tyson's uh, RPG wedding all over again. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, some a hole decided to interrupt my wedding. <laughs> I'm like, sweet, I'm gonna get married in game. I think now. Let's turn into a huge plot twist. <laughs> Fuck that guy. So, no, right? anyway. <laughs> can't have anything else. So, the dragon will be released in the arena. After a few minutes' time, the adults will then be free to go, and then you'll just chase the dragon around as it kind of flies. Uh, you have to limit? bring it down before sunset. Okay. Okay. And it's only the participants that can do right. anything about this dragon. Right. right. Now, you could potentially have some people help you cheat. Yeah. I'm about to, <laughs> without him knowing. Oh, I know. I figured you were going okay, to do so something. To... I was going to ask you to I'm a, possibly I enchant my arrows. Mm -hmm. Nick, can I bet on him? Yeah, I was hoping. I was hoping that he could enchant my arrows. No. Anyway, another quick question. About how much damage do these uh, so arrows actually bow do? Slash arrows are only going to do about two damage. They're blunted. They're not designed to like pierce and stuff. I know. <laughs> my dagger does more than that. Can I throw my dagger? No. It's a dragon shoot, not a dragon no? stab. <sighs> I said throw. A dagger still stabs when it's thrown. Could I... <laughs> yep. Could I lash the dagger to one of the arrows? No, because then if nope. you hit a, a non-participant, you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> nope. Fine. <laughs> All right. That's all my questions. <laughs> all right. Let's begin this Alrighty, thing. So you'll notice that I put a little clockwork dragon in the middle of the arena. Where? Oh, that's cool. That looks godly familiar. Imagine why. All right, so the dragon <laughs> immediately takes off this direction. After a few minutes, the adults are released to go because apparently the kids haven't hit it yet. So is it just the first person to hit, or the person to do enough damage? Sure. All right. Fair so, uh, go ahead. Mm. I need you to roll me an athletics check to keep up with the dragon. Athletics check. Wait, I think I use my agility for athletics. I think that was one of my skills. Mm. Yeah, I think it was. Let me go to your sheet. This should be written down on your sheet, right? On the other sheet? I don't know. Did you write? Okay. Heck if I know. I just remember that I... I just remember that I... Used my agility for athletics for some reason. Makes sense because you're an elf. Exactly. Let me take a look at the elf real quick and see because I 
that may be the case, but... I think it's an elf. I think it's an elf thing. I really do. Can't remember. I agree with him. I agree with him. If it works against <laughs> Nick's plans, perfect. That is a negative. <laughs> yep. It would have to be a skill, and none of the skills you've gotten here would do it. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. So. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Hmm. hmm. One, second. One second. Where was the, uh... Ah, here we go. Not those. Yes, these. Da -da -da -da. I thought there was something in here. Oh well. All right, so it is, All right, so it is a athletics. <coughs> yep. Athletics at this check, point, it's right? an average athletics check. All right. All right, so you're having some issue because the uh, competitors are all doing the same thing, so you're unable to, like, you're keeping up with it, sort of, but, but it's unfortunately you're kind of surrounded by your competition. Yeah. yeah. However, you are within range if you'd like to take a shot. Can I make a guess as to where the beast is going? <clears throat> where the mechanical dragon is running to? Uh, go ahead and give me a... Perception? Or would, the, or would the, that be a skull that would be That would actually be more of a streetwise check, trying to figure out where it's going. Okay. Average? Uh, in this Average? case, it's going to be hard. I'm going to spend a uh, story point to increase it to a one red, two purple check. Is there any way we can help him? Is there any way we can help him point out where the uh, if dragon is? to try and keep up with the dragon as well, sure. Okay. So okay. Go, ahead, go ahead and give me an average I'll do that. Uh, athletics roll. Okay. Kind of angry that those dice canceled out. Oh, Christina's what? keeping up with it, and she's helping you point out, so at least you get a boost. <laughs> Brian. Come on, Brian! So go Come ahead on and roll the dice with a boost. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, unfortunately, you're just, you're, you're far too confused to figure out where it's at. There's too many people, and the dragon is kind of on the small side. Uh, so it makes it very difficult, especially since it's a mechanic or a magical construct. Makes it even harder. Can I look for it? Sure. Do I see him I'm over assuming here so running? everybody's kind of watching the competition. And where's this dragon at? Right here. Whoa, 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 green, green, purple, purple, purple. Three Two purple, purple and a red, or what? Three purple. Do I see he him hasn't make said he's going to try and shoot yet, so. I pointed out to him. <laughs> Alright, so you now know where the dragon is, at least, again. <laughs> Even through the thongs of bodies that are okay. there, so you can still shoot at it. <laughs> I will take right, a shot. So, average shot, but it's going to be with one setback due to the crowd, one setback due to being like within your competition. So, two purple, two black. All right, so. And feel free again, guys, to use your uh, story points. You've got four. Story point. I'll use a story point. Which means that gives you... Two, two purple black. and yep. two black. Okay. So there you go. So there, you go. there you go. Seven, seven hits or seven damage to the thing. Yeah, very good hit. 
took me I'm pointing pleased. it out to you, but <laughs> I'm glad to help. All right, and what do you want the triumph to do? Uh, uh, hmm. One of those hits. Hmm. Either that or one of my arrows gets jammed in one of the cog works and slows down. Okay, the I'll give that thing. as a, uh, a upgrade to your next check because your arrow is jammed in there. All okay. right, so let me roll for them to see if they hit it. Uh, hold it, hold on. Okay, so the two the two boosts were mm -hmm. supposed to be black. That's SS, not BB. Oh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, and yeah. SS. Oh, sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yellow, yellow, SSPP. Okay, ah. I'll let you keep the other. Wait. I prefer the other. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> the yeah. other one was more fun. I also didn't pull yeah, enough I was yellow say, ones. The other one was better <laughs> off because you got a triumph on that one anyway, which would have given you a success and a triumph anyway. I'm going to reduce the damage just a little bit yeah. that was done to it, but outside of that. Same Fair. Thing. So probably six or uh, five. Don't worry about it. I'm inputting it as to what it's supposed to be. All right. <clears throat> All right so All right. dragon still slowed. Uh, you take two strain, however, along the run as well for this. Fair enough. All Fair right. Enough. So time for their for the other competitors to roll. I said I was going to help it do okay, more damage. Okay, so I need for you him. to roll. How are you trying to help him? Uh, Enchant my arrows. Enchant uh, my arrows. What? I can't. Uh, I got to check. I don't. My son ran. Just off describe my what phone. you want to happen, and I'll walk uh, you through it. No, dude. I don't think I can enhance anything as a arcane's caster. Oh, darn. No, I'm talking to uh, Nick. Can augmentation I? I can't remember, can only be done with divine magic. and primal. Primal. Divine and what? Yeah, so I cannot enhance. I could, but... Yeah, she's pointing things out to you. Um, let's see here. I'm thinking. Because if I attack it, then that means I'm attacking and not you. I don't think there's much I can do at this moment. Hey, that's fine. So Alrighty. I'll pass. Yeah, I can't do that yet, okay. but I will. Okay. All right, another couple arrows come flying in, but they completely miss the dragon as it kind of does like this little barrel roll wriggle move. <coughs> and then the dragon shoots into this crowd here through the tents. All right, so I need another athletics check from whoever's following the dragon here. I am. All right, so for both of you, it's going to be a... Average athletics, but you're going to have three setbacks. Crowd, tents, and then the dragon is being kind of swallowed up by the crowd. Oh, Christina lost sight of it. Uh, what minor bad thing would you like to happen to you there, Landon? Yeah, I don't know. Runs, I need to speak. Straight into a woman and head plants his face into her tits and then she slaps him across that the face. Except the just... That except for the slap. I just okay. keep running. How's that a sentence? It's because it's an older woman. <laughs> yeah. Hell. Yeah. Hell. All right, so you keep running. <clears throat> you you kind of end up over is... here. So you're a little ways away from the dragon. I'll let you shoot at it if you'd like, but it's going to be an upgraded, somewhat upgraded check. I'm going to use this action to try and get closer again. Okay, go ahead and give me another, give me a coordination check now instead of an athletics, because now you're trying to weave your way through a crowd. One second. Uh, what's the difficulty? Uh, what's the, uh, difficulty? the difficulty here is going to be uh, average with two setbacks. All right, and I used a story point. Then I'm going to help him. Then I'm going to help him. 
Oh, never mind. Okay, yeah, you're able to close the distance on the dragon. You get to roughly here. All right. <coughs> All right, so All competitors, right. let me roll their little checks to try and get closer. Okay, unfortunately, they're having about as much difficulty as Christina and you are. So they're not any better off. All right, so Dragon continues moving, and it jumps Good. the river. Okay. okay. I would like to take a shot, like at, the take a shot at the Dragon okay, before I move. and roll the attack. <coughs> Do I have eyes on him that yes, it can help the arrow? Um, give me a... Yeah. A daunting perception check. Oh, okay. Also, he's kind of still slowed from yeah, that arrow that I get put a, in there. You'll get an upgrade so, to just... roll. Daunting is four, right? Yep. Daunting is four, right? Green uh, one. Okay, yeah, you're able to help point it out, so <laughs> you'll get a boost in addition to this. So. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, so what's uh, the difficulty of the shot? All right. All right. Any setbacks? No? Any setbacks? No? Uh, yeah, I'll give you one setback due to the crowd kind of around you, too, and you're trying to shoot through them. All right. All right. Can I? Never mind. Can <laughs> I was I... going to say, he, Never mind. he hit. You got so. him. I hit him good. I hit him good. You you punched him right, down so some more. What would you like your two advantages to be? Those aren't advantages, are they? Those aren't yeah, advantages, are they? Uh, no, yes, yeah, they are. Advantage. Ah, they look so much like <laughs> the triumph. Triumph is a uh, exploding star with like a little spike coming out of it. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Ah. Uh, I don't know what should my advantage be, Christina. Uh, you uh, hit it so badly, uh, hit it so badly that it slowed even more. <clears throat> I like that. I hit it in the other. I hit it in the other leg, and my arrow is stuck in the okay, cogs. Okay, that'll give you a boost on your next roll instead of a uh, upgrade. All right, welcome. Unfortunately, All right, welcome. you hear a snapping <laughs> sound as the other arrow snaps as the dragon's cogs like crunch it. Finally. Fair enough. So it continues to run. Uh, now you still have to move, and okay. it's across the river. So what are you doing? I jump the river. I okay, jump the go river. Ahead and give me a hard athletics check. I'm gonna run across. The river. Uh, I'm gonna run across I'm the bridge. I'm also going to upgrade the uh, check once. Hold up. Hold up. I've changed my mind. I will run towards the bridge, kind of like okay. right there, ish. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, you make it to here. All right. Now let's see about the other competitors hitting the uh, dragon. Okay, so their arrows continue to fly. A few of them actually pepper the dragon and pounce off of it, but it doesn't seem to do anything to the dragon at all. God, they're rolling like crap today. <laughs> Nick, as he by Nick, as he passes by me, I would like to like uh, grab him on the shoulder and uh, enhance his abilities through primal magic. Okay. So touching the competitor and trying to make his roll a little better. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All righty. Like just, just going. looks like I'm grabbing his shoulder going, you got this. Okay. Uh, okay, that'll work. Alright, so the dragon comes screeching this way. <coughs> you come up to her because <laughs> you'll have to move before you can, if you want that boost before you shoot. Alright, so Christina. Yeah. Um, I need you to roll me a, let's see, for augment, starts there, I need you to roll me a hard, 
uh, magic divine or not divine primal check. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I like that. All right. <laughs> All right. So you feel you feel like. You feel kind of like a cheetah. You can. You care. think feels suddenly you you just seem super light on your feet, and then everything just kind of snaps into focus for you. Good okay. God, Christina! All right, okay. so uh, that means you can close the distance some more on the dragon, or and or shoot it from where you're at. I I think I'd better. Move to about right Ready? there. So that puts you within short, which is one purple to attack it now. Hmm? <laughs> one purple is your attack hmm? difficulty. You can hit it with You the can arrow. basically just fling your arrow at it by hand and hit the thing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, this is going to be good. I'm upgrading, I'm upgrading Don't forget your, the uh, roll. Boost. And my boost. Green, yellow, 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 boost, purple. Anything That's else am I I've missing? You're welcome. Okay. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, so what do you want much. your critical to be? Can I? Not How much damage have I done? Uh, the dragon is looking somewhat. Damaged, but not like extremely damaged. Just grab it. Just he grab it. Grab it. He has to shoot it. I, I can't stab it. <laughs> oh, okay. If I could, I would. <laughs> um. How about it? I hit it so hard that I broke one of the main gears in its legs. Okay. Is it uh, running or flying? Running flying. It's it running. It kind of flew a little bit to hop okay. the creek or the river, but that's about it. That was more of a glide <laughs> than a fly. This thing isn't a true dragon. It doesn't have uh, actual wings to fly. It's yeah. a cog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So it's anyway, so it's stopped. <laughs> well, it's still running. It's just running even slower now because you broke a leg. <laughs> All right, so the dragon goes mm -hmm. to here somewhat dragging its leg behind it. Let me roll for the competitors here. Mummies? Good I took a ship. Okay, more arrows continue to pepper around the dragon, but don't seem to do anything to it because it apparently you're the only one who can hit it. Alright, so go ahead. <laughs> Support. <laughs> I'm chasing it okay. still. Okay. Yellow, green, purple, uh, purple. Unless you want to try and get closer first. Does the does the my enhanced uh, ability help no, me? Because it's kind of run its course a little bit now. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. So, yeah. okay. so it's still an average yes. check, right? All right. And you miss. I wasn't shooting. I was. I wasn't shooting. I was running. Uh, unfortunately, well, you keep up with it, but you stay roughly where you're at as it goes. So you're like right here. So that'll still be an average check to shoot. All right. You also take a strain right, that's because fine. you're running kind of hard and you're getting tired. <sighs> How many story points? Two How many three. story points? You guys have two, I have three. Alright, do you mind if I use another one? Yeah, he doesn't care because he's gonna use them all on me. Why are you I'm asking us? It, you I'm know. actually using one to uh, upgrade true. this check too, by the way. So, yeah, use it. So, yeah, use so it. One of those. Okay. Be... Oh Jesus! You don't have to ask. All right, and the dragon comes crumbling down and skids to a stop, <coughs> roughly Weeps. right next to a 
group of uh, people. <laughs> and we have a winner! I wake up. I wake up. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, winner, come forward to claim your prize. Yeah, that'll work. Right there, ish. So at that point, uh, Raff and Ward comes out, and he gives you essentially a silver medallion of a uh, dragon. Uh, you are today's winner for the dragon shoot. Mm -hmm. That award shows mm -hmm. that you have actually you have won here, and if you compete in any other dragon shoots anywhere else in Sithichi, you'll be able to enter into a higher bracket due to the fact of being a champion here. Oh, look at you, dude. I was kind of hoping Well, you can me. always sell Not the silver lie. there. It's worth at least 20 silver. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so... Oh, uh, I did sure bet you on did. him. All right, so yeah, you did. did. I yeah, bet no. so I get, uh, you actually get an extra 20 because it had two to one odds on him. I was a nice. I was yep. a slight underdog then. <clears throat> All right. And with that, Raff and Ward kind of, of raises his hands. And for the final one, event of today, we will be doing the wrestling competition. Contestants, enter the ring. I gave you the picture of him taking his shirt off. Of him oh, taking his shirt off. You're a champion? Okay, so your oh, champion yeah. is going to be the one competing then. <laughs> you know what? I really wanted to compete myself. Then compete. Then do it. <laughs> I got 10 on the champion. However, I know I will be. I didn't get anything for doing the Mayflower dance, and I'm having the Maypole oh, dance, and I'm happy bad. Sorry, with I meant that. to tell you, you actually won some pies. Or got some pies. Nice. I wasn't really winning in the Maple Dance. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got food. Mm. I got food. <laughs> hey, they're good pies. They're apple. They're pecan. Blueberry. I mean, you got good pies. They're not. They're not made by the guy no. in Tyson's no, no. game, right? <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. Rat pies. Those pies are good. Rat pies. <laughs> oh. What? For the win. <laughs> anyway, so the contestants. So which one is actually uh, competing? So I'm assuming Tyson, you're competing. Kill you know it. I will walk out. I will walk out. Woohoo! I would assume my champion would disappear. Yeah. By now, so as you go to walk out, the champion salutes you, and then he just kind of fades away from. Uh, where you summoned him from, or back to where you summoned him from. Sounds good. I walk out. Aha! Oh my I'm going to wait until after this battle to face <laughs> Oh, just getting burned? <laughs> Alrighty. You know what? I just what? don't know your stats, I'm going to bet five right, silver so Tyson on him. has five silver. It's a one to five odds against him. Come on now. So Come on now. Don't do me wrong, wins. bud. All right, so the contestants start heading out and start the wrestling. Tyson, go ahead and uh, give me an opposed check with your brawl. It's going to be two purples. Yep, two purple. Two purple? Oh, yeah. All right, here I go, man. <laughs> yes. All right, so you guys are still wrestling as the... Uh, as everyone around you starts to finish. Go ahead and re-roll. Okay, you're starting to get tired as this continues, because apparently neither one of you are any better than the other. Sleep is lag. Come on. All right, Sleep so is lag. Come on now. These, uh, from this wrestling match, but you come out on top. All right. So they give you a little bit of respite, so go ahead and roll a cool check to rest. See how much strain you get back. Okay. Can I enhance his strength? Uh, you're going to have to do so discreetly. Oh, okay. I won't. Oh, okay. I won't. Go ahead. Do it discreetly. Why not? Okay. 
ahead. All right, so it'll be the same check you had before with uh, uh, Landon, but I'm going to spend a story point to upgrade it. Oh, so yellow, yellow, yellow. What do I need? I'll spend the story point if I can. So you're going to need one red and two purples. All right. All right. And Tyson, you now you get go. an upgrade on your dice. <laughs> so you get one yellow and a red or green. All right. All right so nice. the next one comes right, up. Okay. I'm, I'm okay. putting 20 on him. <laughs> All right. So if he wins, you'll make 100. Got it. All right, so Tyson, yeah. it's going to be the exact same check, but one of those purples is now a red. But you get a bow because of me. Because of me. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And Tyson loses okay. out. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you should have never voted on me, man. Never oh, bet that's me. awesome. All right, so Tyson, describe how your character loses. Um, he blue kisses at me and I screamed and ran off stage. All right. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, he looked he looked a little funny at you. And when he did that, you're like, oh, God, and you ran away. Give you a wink. Anyway, the competition continues. Uh, if you guys would like to bet, there is a couple other people you can bet on. Uh, however, you guys lost oh, yeah. the five and twenty sure. that you bet. <laughs> so I'll bet five more on the guy right, who's so the biggest. The guy that's the biggest has uh, one to one odds. His runner up has three to one odds. Of course, that's and fine. Then the next guy has seven to one odds. Oh, I'll bet on the runner up then. Okay. Oh, I'm doing five, five on the five runner up. Gold. I'm doing five silver on the dude that has seven one odds for a single okay, round. Okay, so he has to win in a single bout with no like secondary bells, then essentially. So let me go yeah. for the I'll seven the to ones. One. I'll also bout five on the okay. seven to one single bout. So Tyson, you said how much? Five or ten? Five. All right, so thirty-five five. to the both. I'm getting five on the runner up. Right, green, green. Alrighty, is any are either of you two gonna try and like enhance the situation where you can possibly win? Because he's rolling two yeah. greens and two reds. Yes, yes I am. All right. Yes, I am. The same check you rolled for Tyson. Just... The exact same roll. Oh, uh, yellow, yellow. Oh, uh, yellow, yellow. I'm assuming you were oh, gonna upgrade yeah, it. Red. I was gonna upgrade it too. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. I am. <clears throat> All right, so he yeah. gets enhanced. <laughs> And he succeeds. You guys get 35 silver out of that. <laughs> yes. All right, Christina, which one are you rolling? Landon, you bet that too? Landon, you bet that too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Christina, which, uh, which one are you gambling on? The one-to-one -one or the uh, one-to-three or the one-to-five? The three-to-one. The three-to-one. Oh, I will go in with her on that bet. Three to one. <laughs> Everybody's betting. All right, so how much I silver are you guys betting here? I'm gonna go with ten. Ten. I'm gonna go with ten. Five. Five. Okay, so five. That means uh, fifteen and thirty. Got it. Anybody trying to influence this one too? Sure. All right, go ahead and re-roll the exact same check again. <laughs> Hold up. How much strain do you have, Christina? Because it costs you two strain every time you cast a spell. I have five left. I've got one more One more go at this. Ooh, unfortunately you don't do so Damn it! Can I whisper advice to the spider? <laughs> uh, what are you going to tell him? <laughs> How okay, to win. and how is that? Describe what, how, say what now? Play dirty. Sweep the knees, go for the crotch. Right, I will give crush. him a boost for that. As you I call that out, he seems neck. to hear it. And he wins. 30 coins for that, the one who bet 10 and 15 for everyone else. All right, so. 
<laughs> I'm up to 74. All right. <laughs> I'm back up to 71. All right, so the wrestling con <laughs> competition continues. Uh, as it continues, you guys, you guys start to hear what sounds like roaring flame. Like very loud, like something shrieking through the sky. Um, I look up. It's a dragon. Okay, so as you look up, Christina, you <laughs> notice the Tyson's uh, RPG wedding. No, this all is over not again. that. Anyway, so as you guys look up, everybody in the crowd kind of looks up, and you start to hear screaming. Essentially, you see what appears to be burning rocks come flying through the air. A siege on the town? Really? Uh, Where? On, I'm about to show you. Can you please put this stuff out fast here? We're in the middle of gameplay. <laughs> Jeez, Nick, what's wrong with you? Jeez, Nick, what's wrong with you? <laughs> we heckle Nick all the time, by the way. You know what we should do, Christina, during my game? I'm going to put flaming uh, red rocks. Do it. Those don't look like flaming red rocks. That looks like someone's <laughs> shorts. Went all right, so as they come down, <laughs> oh, no. they hit and explode along the ground. Uh, everyone here, I need you to roll me a fear check. Can I do a reaction That's to exactly this? what I'm having you What's do that? is a fear check. <laughs> oh, so I can't do anything to prevent them from hitting the ground and killing people. What would you like? Well, okay, so before they hit the ground, give me a fear check. Everybody give me a fear check. What is and that is... What's up? What is it's that either is... cool or discipline. What? Yeah. So... What's difficult? Oh, I have neither. Oh, I have neither. Well, my cool is better. Uh, the difficulty, difficulty here, here is going to be hard. So three purples. Yeah. I'm... <coughs> you're you're yeah, out I'm of your mind at the scared. moment. <laughs> you're like, oh god, meteorites. I'm using a story point. Okay, I'm using a story work. point. So down to one and one and four. Well, Tyson's not. Well, Tyson's well, Tyson's not... Land... No, you're not third. Scared Sorry, Landon. Then? You're like, hey, it's just a rock. Who cares? I shoot at the rock for. Okay, so you're gonna literally. You two triumph to calm me down. <laughs> Fine, I right, calm so her down. What are you going to try and do to stop the rock? Since uh, Tyson's kind of like, oh god, oh god. <laughs> Can I? Um... Can I? Um. Hmm. Shatter to the rock. Shatter to the rock. Okay, so you want to try and shatter it? Try and make All the right, rock so that's going to be a magic attack. Yeah, then. since it's a nature thing. Yeah. All right, so let's see. The thing is fairly high up in the air, so I'm going to put that at long range, which means that this stuff starts where? Short. Okay, short range, so short, medium, medium. Medium, long. So that's going to be two purples on top of that, just for that. Okay. You're going to need okay. blast to break it up. So that'll make mm -hmm. it a fourth purple mm -hmm. on top of that. So you're looking at five for so that. Formidable. Actually, so formidable. Hold on, I'm going to change that to sunder because you're trying to just break it. So mm -hmm. that actually makes it um, mm -hmm. one red, four purples. I'm unconscious, but I did it. <laughs> All right, so Christina shatter happens to shatter the one rock that's going to hit right where the uh, spectators would be. Little bits and pieces of it kind of start peppering through tents and whatever, but nobody is seriously injured. And then she just kind of, ah, puff, and hits the ground. Collapsed to right, the ground. So the rocks hit. <laughs> So anyway, the rocks hit the ground. Uh, I need everyone to make me a coordination check. Minus me. Sure. Yeah, Minus you're on the me. Ground, so you're just automatically going to be shaken up by this. Uh, it's going to be a hard what? Uh, check. God, Christina, that's a lot of threat right there that you just took. Oh, shit. I need to roll your I need to roll I know. Your critical, too. Actually, huh. Christina, go ahead and roll me a die okay. 100 on the disc or on this app or inside the game here. 
Yeah. Okay, so Tyson, you're knocked to your f well. off your feet as the shockwave from the meteorite's hitting. Yeah. There you go. All right, so you took a six. Man, you were lucky, Christina. Like, really lucky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're uh, knocked off your feet, and then what did you get there, uh, boss two? For your coordination check? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, so he Christina, had two uh, It doesn't matter because you're unconscious. <laughs> but you have an easy critical now. Oh. Uh. Alrighty. So you guys, with the most of the people seem to be knocked off their feet from the uh, shockwave, etc., and the shaking of the earth when these two hit. Uh, in addition to that, you can hear some, uh, like, what appears, what sounds kind of like desperate cries coming from the uh, area to the south of where you're at. Am I unconscious? Yeah, you're Am I unconscious? Okay. Okay. As long as you went zero or less of your strain, you're unconscious. Yeah. Yeah. So, do is this a new encounter? Because shouldn't we get a cool check at the end of the uh, thing? I will allow you to get it. Uh, Christina, because she's continuously casting spells left and right, I'm going to say no. Yep. Okay, so and that's fine. Okay, that's fine. That's wonderful. <laughs> I'm using a story point. Oh. Okay, Upgrade my green work. to a yellow. You heal too. Alrighty, so what would you guys like to do? These two meteorites have just hit the ground. You can hear some cries from the south from where you're at. I run to check on the north. I hope ability. one didn't hit the ground. I hope one just was shattered That's all over I the described. place. Yeah, they're probably screaming. Okay. They're probably screaming because this robot's <laughs> still going crazy. He's dead. No, he's not. He's right there. Somebody picked him up. I'm Somebody kidding. picked him up. I'm checking I'll, uh, on the ability. I'll look at the elf and go. You should, you're, you're bigger, you should grab her. Alright, so you check on the nobility. Those guys seem to be stadium? a little shaken, but okay. Uh, the duke right. just kind of brushes you off, and he says, go find the find the injured. We're fine here. Alright. Right. Oh, he's not I here. check on the unconscious lady. Okay. I start heading so south. So she's completely and utterly unconscious. You see people kind of in chaotic, like chaos. They're running around, not sure what the heck to do. Uh, several of the guards are attempting to kind of rally everybody and get them to stop panicking so that they can figure out what's going on or what yeah. needs to be done, but they're not making much headway as you go down that way. Is there anything I can do to the unconscious? Uh, wait a minute now. Uh, wait a minute now. Uh, what are you trying to do <laughs> yeah. to her? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go through her pockets. I don't know. Well, I mean, it'd be pretty easy at this point. The uh, people are all in panic and stuff, so yeah, you I can basically pickpocket her with no I issues. Fight you! Fight you! Um, we may all die here. Let's grab her <laughs> silver and run. Asshole. How much silver does she have? 139 silver. <laughs> Ooh, that's tempting. <laughs> And she was I know, so that's what got me. Too. I was like, Christina does not have to answer this. She could just say, I'm not going to tell you. And then I'd say, you'll have to roll to find out. But she's like, hey, I'll just no. tell you. Okay. Yeah, I could have, but they're going to steal it anyway. They're going to steal it well, anyway. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. We, we, we better not. Do you mind Probably carrying can. her? And sure, let's I'll carry now. her. Yeah. Well, I'll look hey, I had a bad it wasn't me. Do what now? I go over here. All right, so you you go over there and you start to see what appears to be a bit of a small fire that is broken out, just based on the panicking people. Ooh. Okay. okay. Another quick question. Another quick question. Is that Elvin Bo still uh, over here? You would assume so. <laughs> I want to try and steal it. I want to try and okay. steal it. Uh, if you would on. like to attempt to steal it, you have a good opportunity to do oh, so. God. I'm I I'm not going for the elven bow. I'm okay, so essentially you're seeing small fires breaking out right. as people knock over like torches and whatnot because they were getting ready for nightfall. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Again, I know I I'm describing it for Tyson real quick. Wanted. And Christina. 
Uh, the other thing yeah. you can hear is some, I like I said, some cries from the south of where you're at. And then now you're starting to hear what sounds like Southwest. cows, like cows in terror. Not from the where? All right, so for the longbow to try and steal it. Let's see, it's chaotic here. They're probably not paying standard. attention, so I'm going to give you an average check. Uh, however, okay. I am going to give you a setback because there's it? a lot of people running around you right now. There is a huge potential for them to find out. Fair. And then just because it's screaming at me that I need to, I'm going to upgrade the check to one red, one purple, and the one setback. All right. Is that Skullduggery uh, or Stealth? Probably Skullduggery because at this point Stealth is eh. Bend the story point if we have them. Bend the story point if we have them. Yeah, I'm going to spend a story point, but I have that two yellows and green. So what would that do? All right. All right. Yellow, yellow, green. Black. Red, purple. Remember S for setback. Oh. Setback oh. just because people can. There's definitely purple. people around. Yep. Red, purple, setback. Red, purple, setback. All right, and you are yes. now in possession yes. of an elven bow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Aren't you glad I said spend the story point? <laughs> I am. All right. I am very glad. <laughs> so, Tyson, you run across the bridge, and uh, you, you're seeing people, like, being trampled by cows that have been pushed into abject terror by these uh, uh, meteorites. Oh, they're in yeah. terror by the meteorites? Oh, fuck that. I'm going back to the arena. Alrighty. Uh, All right. Uh, what are the stats on the other one, buddy? Uh, I'll get with you on the side. I want to finish this out. Fair. Fair. Uh, I'm not gonna you don't have to kill them. You can subdue them. <laughs> I'm not going to subdue fucking cows. They're just trampling Okay. Okay. <laughs> I really am not. I'm not going to sit there and chase fucking cows as a gnome, trampling people, nor subduing them, nor shooting at them. I'm going to start pairing water to and from the It's not a whole herd. Okay. It's like six total cows. Oh, well, then there's like 100 or 200 farmers here. They're going to do way better than me. Fuck okay. that. It's true. So, He's a gnome. Uh, the He's fire very has started to, to get much meat. worse in the tents. Okay, where's the fire? Uh, at? That they're just with. kind of around in the tents. They're kind of all over. All right. Landon, do, right. right. do you have me? Nope, you're still by the arena. Me <laughs> I should be. <laughs> well, fuck you guys. I'm going to start heading back towards the arena, but I'm going to, as I walk, I'm like, hey, <laughs> I'm going to start putting out the fires okay. with a bucket. And I have a rainstorm erupt. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Use that. It's not a rainstorm, but I have rain up here above. All right, so you're place. trying to conjure yeah. a storm to help put out the flames? Yeah, fuck <laughs> this, man. It's going to be a long distance, so it's going to be two purple. So three pur I'm up to three purple now. And it's, Alrighty. it's rain. So I'm looking at four purple. I'll take that. I'm going to use a story point to upgrade it to a red, but yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, help, you. Okay. help yourself. <laughs> help yourself them story points. I knew you Boss, used I've been on using it on everybody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Four, four purples, right? And yep. one, one red, three purples now. Well, um, what would you like your five advantages to be? Okay. I heal strain. And my other advantage is that I'm going to attempt again, but this time I, my, advance, my advantage is that I realize that people bumping into me is really messing up my focus <laughs> and fucking cows. So I'm going to take a deep breath and move to the side. So people All right, I'll give you a boost right. to that roll for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll do the point? same thing. Accidentally put three blues instead of three purples. Let me see. Purples. Holy. Yeah. All right. So. Holy you, shit. So He's this magical wild. storm starts coming around. Uh, 
essentially you do your job really well and the storm puts out all the fires all at once. <laughs> Uh, in addition to that, the lightning generated actually seems to calm the people down. Because <laughs> now they've got a new threat to worry hold about. Up, hold up. Yeah, go Can for I it. Can I do my triumphs? Okay. So, it's the, the rain's okay. coming down, okay? And um, for some reason, when the rain starts pouring down, it um, it's a, maybe a little bit larger okay. of an area. And it actually calms the cows. Okay, that'll work. And puts the people at ease. Alrighty, so between the... In the storm, yeah. Alright, so yeah, it calms everything right down. And then I put my middle <laughs> finger up into the air. And say, I, love I really do. And I keep walking <laughs> towards Christina. Alright. So. At that point... Uh, Christina, you, you kind of awaken to find the, uh, Taylor girl, uh, kind of trying to wake you up. Apparently she's just lightly smacking you on the side of the face trying to wake you up. Ow! Ow! You have no silver. Please, that's so hard. The mix are expensive. I run towards <laughs> the stands. <laughs> All right, so as they get there, you see that, uh, Duke Ward is ordering his guards around. Uh, he starts kind of collecting his people and all of that, calming them down. During that point, uh, Raff and Ward, as you guys get closer to Christina, comes up and meets you guys. And uh, he's like, well, that was fortunate that the storm appeared. Are you three all right? Isn't it? Though? It's kind of freak of nature. Uh, I would say more magical than that. Apparently we have a wizard of some sort in the group here. Amazing those it's amazing those rocks shattered when they did. There'd be I'm more pretty casualties. sure that was magic too, but I'm not entirely sure because I don't have any ability for the mystic arts. Well, you're in luck because you're in the presence of it. You're very welcome. I kind of figured Between the pair it was of you us. because uh, I've been watching the competitions and every time you three are involved, <laughs> suddenly the competition gets... Much more interesting. <laughs> well, I'm glad it was to your enjoyment, and yeah. I'll bow. He's like, no, no, don't, none of that. I'll... My, f my father and I both agree that we do not stand on formalities of such. I, I can't even bow. I, I can't even bow. I just knew. Eh. Why does it sound like a 2000 age? Say so what now? I don't know. Huh? What? Alrighty. You, I'm making a reference to us oh, being from okay. Louisiana. He he's just like, huh? What are you talking from the 2000. about? Oh, don't worry about it. It's a wizard joke. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. It's a wizard joke. Anyway, I'd like to thank both of you for your aid. There would be a lot more worry. injured people than there are currently if you both had not intervened. Of course. Of course. Uh, on behalf of my father, I would a lot also more like to. Uh, formally invite you to come down to the castle tomorrow so that we may properly reward you for your efforts. Oh, certainly. Oh, certainly. You know, I would just, in the meantime, is, you know, because we like some food for dinner. Is there a good place around here for some dinner? He, he kind of turns back to pies. the uh, guards. Uh, he asks, <laughs> uh, where do you happen to be staying at the moment? Uh, in a shack outside town. It's a nice that, one. Small, multiple blankets. <laughs> that spin, will not do. You know? I. That no, will not do. No. I believe that you need your own rooms. He turns towards the guard and he says, I want you to go tell the cooks they are to cook a fantastic dinner for these fine folk. In addition to that, go to the Mermaid's Inn. Tell them there that we will pay for their lodging as well. And I'll look at the elf. I think he was referring to the gnomes when he said that. I think he was. Fine folk. You want to get in here? What did you say? I couldn't hear you. Want to go? Alrighty. <laughs> no, Alrighty, so that you. is the end for tonight. We will pick it back. Aww, but I was so close Your to being like a... Don't worry, your bear cloak yeah. will be ready for you it's by still not ready. the next session. 
So I know. it just takes time for you to get it. I know. I'm playing and had fun with Alrighty. us. So. so I, wait, wait, can I say that again? It's an elf and a bear club <laughs> with a stolen bow. Yeah, that is true. That is, that is awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. You better hide that bow. You better draw us a picture, Dean. Alrighty. I can't draw. So, uh, Landon, just because you're so much further bear. ahead than them, I'm not going to give you any XP tonight. Um, just because they, they, this is now their cool. second session. Uh, for you guys, you guys are yeah. going to get 25 XP. So, oh, so nice. we're now uh, you're getting par. close. You're a little short of where he's at, but you're right. More there. or less. You know what you yeah. could do? Uh, I don't mean to step on your toes. <laughs> But as a player, when you get done with the session, you don't get experience. It's still a little disheartening, even though you're ahead. I would say give us 25 and then give him 15. And the next no, session, if you get well, it technically, again, this is your guys' up. second session, and he's already been through a second session. And this is my so third. That's why I'm not giving it. Yeah, I get Wait, why. You get what I'm saying? Just, but... or, just give him like five or something. Dude, and then... I, really I don't, I don't want to give him any more XP okay. because I already have to go over the. Uh, action point or the uh, ability point with him that's how much ahead he is <laughs> so no oh, geez well now i have also experience ability. how much what are the stats of this okay new bow? so as far as your new bow is concerned because it's going off of a long bow let me just take a look at the elven thing because there when i looked at it i didn't particularly care for what they kind of did with it but Give me just a second while I look at it again yeah. to make sure I'm reading it right. I became more involved tonight. I became more yeah, involved tonight. you were tonight. definitely, like, way up in there. You know what? Just because Christina is actually, like, <laughs> up in her game tonight, I'm going to give you guys an extra five on top of that. <laughs> so that's what am I 30. Do <laughs> Christina, you get, you get more often, Christina. I know, right? I am totally disappointed you couldn't get more, though. I tried. All right, so know, all of you though. are now you. at that point where you get an action or ability point. Mm, that, nope. that is the 50 I only have 40. Because you, you already had mm. 20 above. No. No. Yes, I'm no. keeping track. I kept yeah, track. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. 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 You're right. <laughs> We're exactly at 150. All right. Yeah, we're exactly 150. Okay, so what the hell? So we get one ability point we can spend. You'll have Yay to for us. You'll have to walk me through that later. It's easy. You just, uh, there's out of the book. Well, I've got to walk you all through it, so we'll just you go through make, it in a you're... second. Give me a minute so I can give Landon his stats for his elven bow. All right, let me, I'll go to the bathroom. All right, let me. I'll go to the bathroom. Other guy. All right, right, so Landon, essentially the bow is going to be one less damage than your longbow. So every stat will be the same except for the crit and the damage. So the damage is now going to be seven, but the crit is going to be two. What does that mean? That means if you what roll two mean? advantages on your bow, you can critical hit a creature or whatever target you're shooting. Huh. Which means that we roll a die 100 and something extra special happens. Cool. You know, I was reading over the book, and I really should have activated my uh, heroic <laughs> thing earlier. Because it would have given me an Elven Bow. Like, seriously. Yeah, it's kind of helpful to read the... It uh, just, Read the rules a little. I mean, I asked you about, I mean, I asked you about that last yeah, time. Yeah, it's been but... a bit since we've played, though, so it's easy enough to forget stuff like that. Yeah. Alrighty, so give me just a second. Mm -hmm. i got to turn on a light. Because that's the base. It's a signature weapon that can be of Dwarven Elf Steel Ship. Alrighty, I'm back. Grab the Terranoth book, because we're going to need that for the heroic abilities. <laughs> 